Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Exidu. More children, more blessings, starting from Bulma. Chapter 1. On Bowsy Mountain, a child in blue clothes with a stick beside him was lying on the ground with a piece of grass in his mouth. His eyes are big, his face is round, his hair is spiky, and his hairstyle is like that of a crab. He looks like he is good at fighting. This kid is none other than Son Goku, the main character in the Dragon Ball manga. It's just that he is still young and hasn't grown up yet, and more importantly, this Son Goku is not the original Son Goku. Just a year ago, the boy who traveled from the parallel world Blue Star entered Son Goku's body, not only inheriting all his memories but also mastering this powerful body. He instantly understood that this was actually the world of Dragon Ball. With Saiyan's powerful combat ability, isn't that? Bulma, Lancey, Number 18, and even Angel Vados. Gia Gia Gia, when Son Goku was excited, he suddenly had a urge to urinate. Fortunately, the entire Bowsy Mountain belongs to his family. He found a grass at random and took out the water gun. Just as he was about to moisten the vegetation on the mountain, Son Goku screamed loudly. Is this Saiyan like this when he was a child? What about my 18 centimeters ruler? Why didn't you wear it together? Son Goku who came through time is very sad and very sad. Without the Son Goku of Dinghai Shenzhen, can it still be called Son Goku? Maybe it will be different when you grow up. Son Goku can only hope for this, otherwise, he can only rely on Shenron. But if such a word reaches the ears of the gods, it will not make people laugh to death. Just as Son Goku was annoyed, a mechanical voice from the system came from his mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for activating the Saiyan Multi-Child Multi-Blessing System. Saiyan Multi-Child Multi-Blessing System Binding Saiyan Multi-Child Multi-Blessing System is successfully bound. Ding, the Saiyan Multi-Child Multi-Blessing System works hard to reproduce for the revival of Saiyan. As long as Saiyan heirs are successfully born, you can get rewards. Ding, there will be more rewards for the famous characters in Heiyuan comics who contribute to the revival of Saiyan. Ding, Saiyan Multi-Child Multi-Blessing System Novice Gift Package Delivery, Bonus Skills, 10 times Kaioken, Side Effect Removal Version, Dragon Ball Signature Skill, Kamehameha. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. System, how do you know that I want them all? System, only children make choices, of course adults want them all. Gia Gia Gia, System, Gia Gia Gia. The system is special, it's really perverted. System, Upgrade, what kind of system is bound to what kind of host? Quote dot 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 quote. Do you think I care about you? Son Goku clicked his lips twice, and withdrew from his mind. It seems that now I have become the protagonist in those novels in my previous life, this is a system. With the power of the system, why not kill randomly? Originally, Son Goku had already figured out his own cultivation route, which was probably the same as the original Son Goku. Endurance first and enjoy happiness later, I will also accept Bulma and number 18 at that time. Now, practice, it is impossible to cultivate, and it is impossible to cultivate in this life. You can only live by marrying wives and taking concubines. However, this small body is still a problem. It seems that it is time to get rid of Shenron's power. Son Goku thought to himself and soon found a solution. After all, wouldn't it be a pity not to use Shenron's power in the world of Dragon Ball? It's time to make a wish and change to a stainless steel kidney. In the next year, Son Goku worked hard to practice honestly. After all, if he wants to make a wish and grow up, he must first collect the Dragon Ball. Dragon Balls are not easy to collect. In the original manga, Son Goku and Bulma experienced various difficulties and obstacles before successfully summoning Shenron although he was stabbed in the back by Oolong in the end. However, this time such a thing will never happen. In a blink of an eye, a year passed quickly. The first step in Son Goku's great revival of Saiyan is approaching. Dididi, a speeding car was driving on a mountain road, and Son Goku heard it from afar. He smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth, Bulma, my Bulma, you're here. This year, do you know how I live? Son Goku got up quickly, and ran towards the car with the logo of the capsule company in a few jumps. Without hesitation, Son Goku stepped in front of Bulma's car. Bulma didn't expect that a child would suddenly come out of this mountain trail, 
and his white feet slammed on the brakes, but it was too late. In desperation, she could only turn the steering wheel, but for a moment she forgot that there was a cliff next to her. Ah, 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 ah. With Bulma's screams, she thought it was over. In an emergency, Son Goku hugged the car, and then slammed the car to the ground. No matter how the tires rotate, they will never be able to move forward. Soon, the car stopped. Bulma, who was still in shock, opened the car door carefully and walked down. Seeing the strange child with a tail in front of her, she took out a pistol from her arms and pointed it at Son Goku very vigilantly. You, what kind of monster are you? Son Goku said with an unhappy face, HMPH, I'm not a monster, it was your car that almost hit me, and I saved you just now. Seeing that he looks very cute, and what he said seems to make sense, Bulma put down her guard, leaned down and asked. What's your name, little brother, and why do you have a tail? The moment the 16-year-old Bulma bent over, Son Goku saw that little white snow, who could resist it? The Bulma in front of him was even whiter than in the comics, exuding a faint fragrance all over his body. Hey, little brother, your tail is not fake, you are not a monkey, are you? Why is your tail still stiff? Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Son Goku quickly snatched the tail back from Bulma. This, the tail is too dishonest. I, what's so strange about me having a tail, don't you? Facing Son Goku, Bulma smiled happily. He turned out to be a wild kid, and he had never seen a girl before. How could a girl have a tail? It is said that only boys can grow that thing, and Bulma has seen it from a book, the tail should not grow behind the butt. But Son Goku's tail is not only behind the buttocks, but also fluffy, which is very strange. But Bulma thought that there are still humans with wolf heads and human bodies in this world, there are many half-human, half-beast humans in the first Dragon Ball world, so it is not surprising. By the way, little brother, you haven't told me who you are, why are you alone in the mountains? My name is Son Goku. Son Goku. What a strange name, by the way, my name is Bulma. Son Goku complained in his heart, how dare you call me by my name? The island language name of Bulma is women's briefs. Not as good as me. Son Goku was scornful in his heart, but he pretended to be innocent on his face. Your name sounds really nice. By the way, this place is called Bowsy Mountain, and the whole mountain belongs to my grandfather. The whole mountain belongs to your family. Bulma looked surprised. Be surprised. It's too early to eat essence now. Where's your grandfather? Is he at home? Grandpa died a few years ago. Bulma realized that he had said something wrong. At a young age, the only grandfather who accompanied him died. What a blow it should be to him. I'm sorry I said something that upset you. Sad, Son Goku blinked, thinking to himself, I'm not sad at all. Son Gohan died before I came here, I don't know him at all. Speaking of knowing each other, the Taishang Laojun whom Son Gohan served after his death is pretty good, maybe we can capture her to be his wife in the future. But now, ooh woo, Son Goku burst into tears in an instant, and hugged Bulma while crying. Seeing Son Goku's pitiful look, Bulma didn't think too much, hugged him in his arms, and comforted him. Woo, Son Goku cried even louder. So soft, really so soft. It's a pity that Bulma is not at its peak at this time, and Bulma, who is two years earlier, will develop more maturely. It's time to pick grapes. Reluctantly, Son Goku arched his face hard a few times before retreating from Bulma's generous embrace. Seeing the reminiscing look on Son Goku's face in front of him, Bulma blushed instantly. This brat, didn't he pretend just now? But in the barren mountains and wild mountains, the strange power shown by this kid, besides using a gun, I really may not be his opponent. In this regard, Bulma could only grit his teeth, and then took out a golden bead from his back pocket, emitting a bright light. By the way, little brother, have you ever seen this kind of beads? Son Goku looked up, isn't this the Dragon Ball? Of course he saw it, put it in the house left by Grandpa Son Gohan, just handed it over easily. That is naturally impossible. He looked up and down Bulma. Bulma only felt a bad feeling, but now she wants to collect the Dragon Ball no matter what, to realize her wish. How about it? Have you seen it? If you have seen it, Take my sister there, and my sister will give you a big reward. A big reward, Son Goku thought about the scale just now, and could only sigh. 
Small is also very cute. I've seen it. The one left by my grandfather is in the house I live in now. Really, Bulma looked very happy, for this bead, she had suffered a lot along the way. According to the radar of the Dragon Ball, it is in this mountain of buns. She originally thought that it might take a few days to find it, but she didn't think it would take any effort. It was actually in the hands of this boy named Son Goku. Then can you take your sister to see? Son Goku nodded, then pretended to be embarrassed and said. It's okay, but it's a little far away from here, and I'm a little tired. Sure enough, Bulma was fooled, and opened the side doorway. Get in the car, I'll take you there, I'm an old driver. Son Goku shook his little head and said uncomfortable ly. I am car sick. Seeing this, Bulma immediately took out another capsule and threw it on the ground, only to see a white smoke rise, and a motorcycle appeared out of thin air. This is the power of technology. As expected of the daughter of the capsule company, although she hasn't started to use her smart brain yet, she still has so many capsules. Motorcycles. Hee <laughs> hee. Son Goku has read the manga and already knows that Bulma has a motorcycle. This thing is much more exciting than driving. Why don't you try this? It won't make you dizzy. Bulma said as he turned the car back into a capsule and took it back, then straddled the motorcycle and said to Son Goku. Okay, then I'll try. Son Goku didn't hesitate either, and jumped up directly. A pair of small hands consciously hugged Bulma's slender waist, and then put his face behind Bulma, feeling the girl's warmth. Can you? Dot can you not stick so close? Bulma was a little speechless, she always felt that there was something weird about this kid. A bit, the appearance of a little ghost. I'll be scared if I don't get so close. Son Goku didn't care what Bulma said, but just got closer and closer to himself. Bulma, you don't want to be late, the beat is gone. Quote dot 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 quote. What else can Bulma say? He directly vented his anger on the car, stepped on the accelerator and rushed out. This sudden acceleration, she originally wanted to scare little Goku, but it happened to give Goku a chance. Ah, son Goku pretended to scream loudly, then moved his palm up unconsciously, and then squeezed it violently. The lights on this motorcycle are nice. You, what are you doing? Bulma, who was suddenly attacked, almost rushed off the cliff. She really didn't expect this brat to be so bold. Who told you to drive so fast? I told you I'm afraid. Son Goku's tone was aggrieved. I, I'll ride slowly, you, dot let go. Bulma compromised. But Son Goku held on tighter, shut up, Bulma, there is a curve ahead. The terrain of Bowsy Mountain is complex and dangerous, with ups and downs and thrills along the way. Son Goku would often yell in fright, and Bulma would also yell in anger. Both have a bright future. Finally, Despite a lot of detours under the guidance of little Goku, we finally arrived. Son Goku jumped off the motorcycle and landed firmly. He looked back. At this time, Bulma's face was blushing. She was a young girl who had never been bullied so hard, especially a child who was many years younger than her. She was still so hard, and only now she still felt a little pain. The brat, I almost shot him. Bulma was angry, but he really looked like a kid. Can I still have trouble with a child? Fortunately, Bulma walked into the room in front of him under the leadership of Son Goku. At a glance, she saw the Dragon Ball enshrined on the table, with four stars shining on it. It's the four-star Dragon Ball. Seeing the Dragon Ball in front of him, Bulma quickly forgot all the depression just now. After all, nothing is more important than getting a Dragon Ball. Bulma stepped forward with a happy face, and held the Dragon Ball in his hand, like a treasure. It's really Dragon Ball. Great, Son Goku. Bulma was overjoyed. But Son Goku at the side is very calm, can there be a Dragon Ball for nothing in the world? You don't want to leave anything today, and you still want to leave. Bulma obviously didn't realize the seriousness of the problem, and just thought of a bumpkin-like Son Goku who grew up in the mountains and grew up with his grandfather. It was because I had never seen a girl that I did the things before. To deal with this kind of young boy, wouldn't she handle it easily and firmly? Thinking about this, Bulma showed a smug smile, then walked up to Son Goku, making a pitiful look. Little handsome guy, can you give this ball to someone? Not good. Son Goku's resolute refusal stunned Bulma. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Are you kidding me, 
this brat can resist the temptation of my sister. Bulma calmed down and analyzed. Just now, Son Goku's hands and feet were probably just saying that he would not be easily satisfied. In this case, why not? Bulma lifted up her short skirt, revealing her fair and delicate skin. Well, as long as you give me this bead, I'll let you touch it, okay? Really, seeing that it really worked, Bulma thought to himself, HMPH, a kid is just a kid, that's all. Of course, I am the most trustworthy person. Good. Seeing that Son Goku agreed straight away, it seemed that he had been prepared for a long time, and Bulma secretly thought in his heart that he would not, should he not. But it was too late, she could only yell. Shut up, I mean with your hands. Dot dot dot, da da da, with the pistol Bulma took out to shoot, the farce finally ended. Although Son Goku doesn't understand why her pistol can be fired like Gatling. Of course, it really hurts. Fortunately, I have the physique of a Saiyan. If this is an earthling, this is not a death penalty. No, it is dead. You. Dot you are not even afraid of guns. In fact, Bulma regretted at the moment she shot. She didn't want to kill Son Goku, it was just an instinctive self-defense reaction. After all, if you don't stop Goku, your own green grass will be discovered. HMPH, you're trying to murder me. Son Goku's face was full of anger, of course it was fake. After all, he did go too far, but he can't be blamed for it. In fact, Son Goku is not really such an impatient person. It's just that he was a little moved when he saw Bulma for the first time. If you are not bloody and vigorous, is that still called a young man? Not to mention he has a Saiyan physique. I'm sorry. Bulma apologized sincerely. Seeing this, Son Goku naturally forgave him graciously. At worst, when he grows up, he will return all the bullets she shot at him. No, it is doubled and returned. Super double. It seems that you are different from ordinary children, you seem to be very powerful. Seeing that Son Goku forgave himself, Bulma immediately thought of other ideas. At present, only three Dragon Balls have been collected, and the journey after that will be more difficult and dangerous. If there is a powerful monster level thug like Son Goku, wouldn't it be very relaxing? As for the price, Bulma knew it well, but she didn't believe that this kid could do anything out of the ordinary. Little brother Son Goku, do you want to go out on an adventure with your sister? Bulma asked. Son Goku had a gloomy look on his face at this time, not because of anything else, but because it was only a short moment just now. But after experiencing the wonderful sea breath, but the pain of being helpless, who the hell can understand? No, I have to collect all the dragon balls quickly. When Son Goku came back to his senses, he heard Bulma asking if he would like to go out together to find Dragon Ball. Of course, Son Goku replied firmly, dot dot dot, in the endless desert, a jeep with the capsule company printed on it is running fast. Goku, didn't you say you got motion sickness? Bulma was a little speechless, looking at the side who seemed to be lying on the co-pilot enjoying himself, with his hands behind his head, and the wind outside the window blowing his hair up. Did you hear me wrong? How could I get motion sickness? Son Goku said casually. HMPH, I didn't hear you wrong, you just lied to me on purpose, you don't have a word of honesty in your mouth, I warn you, if you dare to do the same thing as when you were riding a motorcycle, I will. What? Bulma thought for a while, he is not afraid of this Son Goku gun, he can't threaten him at all. Snort. Bulma could only snort coldly, and stopped talking. Soon, the sun was setting in the desert, and Bulma was a little tired after a day's driving. She stopped the car, took out the capsule, and threw it forward. In an instant, a luxurious big house appeared in front of her eyes. The convenience of looking at the capsule is no less than the ninjutsu of a certain shadow next door, the technique of three rooms and two halls. HMPH, what's the matter, you haven't seen these novelty gadgets in the mountains since you were a child. Bulma was very proud to see Son Goku's surprised look, and managed to win a victory over him. She walked into the house with Son Goku, and saw that there was almost everything in it, everything that one could expect. Kitchen, toilet, sofa, bathroom, big bed. There are all places where these battles occur frequently. Could this be Bulma hinting at me? Son Goku thought for a while, and then remembered his involuntary body, so he could only sigh helplessly, go to rest early, there is everything in the dream. 
the kitchen, toilet, sofa, bathroom, and even the big bed will definitely be unlocked with Bulma once in the future. It's just not the time yet, Son Goku knows. Bulma in different periods has different flavors. For example, the Bulma in front of me has green hair and is just 16 years old. She has a girlish and immature atmosphere, making people feel like a girl next door. And the Bulma of the 23rd Martial Arts Tournament is the youth version of Bulma. When the body is most mature, it is as delicious as ripe cherries, and it is full of femininity. And when Saiyan came, Bulma didn't go downhill at all. He just cut off his long green hair and replaced it with short hair that reached the ears. He also dressed in a more mature and charming style, as attractive as a young woman. The most commendable thing is that she knows how to love her husband. Vegeta is not only soft and hard, Bulma also secretly made a wish to Shenron for him, that it would be fine if he became younger, and the outrageous thing is that he made a wish to make his buttocks a little bit. Serious people should understand what it means to have a slightly raised buttocks. Therefore, Bulma is well deserved as the first candidate for wife. Of course, Goku who came through time travel is to satisfy the regrets of Dragon Ball fans Wabu, it is completely impossible because he is an old pervert. Bulma went straight to the refrigerator and took out a bottle of Fat House Happy Water. Ice cold sparkling water, one sip, all the troubles of the day will disappear. Seeing this, Son Goku had a question mark on his face, where's mine? Bulma said angrily, if you want to drink, get it yourself. Son Goku didn't bother with her either, after all, he will be his wife in the future, and the family is not, so what's there to be angry about? Goku also took out a bottle of happy water from the refrigerator. While drinking the happy water, he asked, Bulma, what are you looking for Dragon Ball for? Bulma smiled shyly, and said falteringly, this is a girl's secret. Snort, Goku showed disdain, you think I don't know if you don't tell me. He remembered that in the original manga, Bulma sought out Dragon Ball for a boyfriend who was like a prince charming, but in the end, this wish was misunderstood by Oolong, and in the end, he only got a fat call from an unknown girl. Seeing the longing look on Bulma's face, it is obvious that a little girl at her age has always had unrealistic fantasies and does not know the cruel reality. But it doesn't matter, he will help you realize the wish that you didn't realize back then. The two chatted again, and at the same time, Bulma also took out the Dragon Ball radar. Seeing the blinking dots on it, Bulma told Goku that this is the location of the next Dragon Ball. Then how many have you collected now? There are three, I can make a wish with only four left. Bulma opened his hands and yawned while talking, but he was a little tired this day, and when he saw Goku, he also looked a little sleepy. I think we should take a quick bath today and get some rest. Bulma suggested. Quote question mark quote. Bath, you say this, I'm not sleepy anymore. Goku's eyes suddenly lit up, and he naturally followed into the bathroom. Bulma just took off his clothes at this time, but he didn't expect Goku to follow in, he jumped into the bathtub, exclaimed in embarrassment. You. Dot you don't. Dot you want to. Goku nodded, his big eyes were full of sincerity from Lightang. Then, you take it off first. Bulma was a little helpless, but looking at the little Goku, there would be no accidents. Can, I let you take off, but I didn't let you take off completely. Seeing the naked Goku in front of him, Bulma was a little speechless, especially the small thing, which was very dazzling. Seeing this, Bulma could only look away, and at this time Goku also got into the bath smoothly. Bulma helped son Goku clean his body well, especially the tail behind him. Bulma thought it was very amusing, and played it hard. Son Goku is a little speechless about this, it's just a tail, what's the fun? However, you can't suffer yourself, can you? Soon, Bulma's exclamation came from the bathroom. After one night, Son Goku is a martial artist after all, so he woke up early from the bed. He looked sideways at Bulma who was still sleeping soundly. Last night, he had a hard time convincing Bulma to sleep with them. For this reason, he swore that if he crossed the line, he would be a beast. Last night, Son Goku kept his promise and did nothing. But we didn't agree to do nothing this morning. Son Goku looked at the defenseless Bulma at this time, stepped forward, imitating the little Goku in the manga, stepped forward and used the classic pad and pat kung fu. It was almost noon when Bulma woke up. Goku, what kind of eyes are you looking at? 
Bulma stretched out on the bed. Son Goku pretended to be nonchalant. It's nothing, you look so good when you wake up. In the face of Son Goku's bragging, Bulma couldn't stand it, and went to the bathroom without checking anything, brushed his teeth and washed his face, and then got dressed. Hey, Goku, why do you have a beard growing around your mouth? It's still curly, how strange. Bulma reached out and took the beard off Son Goku's mouth. It's not a beard, is it your hair? Son Goku nodded quickly, and said affirmatively, that's right, it's the hair, ha ha ha, you're so smart, Bulma, you discovered all of this, actually. I love hair loss. Bulma looked at Son Goku with thick hair, and nodded suspiciously. Since the hair around the mouth is not a beard, can it just be hair? Otherwise, what else could it be? Bulma didn't think much about it, and put the house away after walking out of the house. She took out the car capsule again, but this time it couldn't be started. What's wrong? Son Goku asked seeing this. It seems that I drove too fast yesterday and forgot to refuel the car, so it won't be able to drive. Bulma's complexion is very ugly, the Gobi Desert is in front of her, how can she get out with two legs? By the way, what about your motorcycle? I can also ride a motorcycle. HMPH, rest, I've already given the capsule for the motorcycle, so stop thinking about it. Bulma said angrily, she would not give Son Goku any chance, this guy is by no means as innocent as he appears on the surface. But, if this is the case, how should we get out of this desert? Son Goku raised the question of the soul. Bulma stayed on the spot in a daze, yes, this big desert, how to get there? She fell to her knees, tears streaming down her cheeks. Woo, I'm still so young, I haven't even talked to a boyfriend, I don't want to die here. Don't worry, Bulma, I have a solution. What way? Bulma's eyes lit up when he heard Son Goku say that. Why don't you let me be your boyfriend before you die, so you can fulfill your wish? Quote dot 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 quote. Die. Bulma was speechless, at this moment, Son Goku was still in the mood to make fun of her. When she was depressed, smoke and dust billowed in front of the desert, and the roar of motorcycles could be heard from far away. It's saved. Son Goku and Bulma looked at each other in surprise. In the distance, a hovering motorcycle appeared soon. The car was coming at a high speed, and when it saw that it was about to hit the two of them, a drainage ditch made a dangerous bend and stopped in front of them. One person and one cat got off the motorcycle. The man was a tall young man with a big happy character written on his clothes, while the cat was suspended in midair and could fly. Looking at the young man, Bulma said in an instant nympho. That's, so handsome. Son Goku secretly said angrily at the side. HMPH, when I grow up, I'll be much more handsome than him. Isn't it Yamcha, a man who dares? Yamcha looked at a woman and a child in front of him. In front of him, the combat effectiveness of these two people was not worth mentioning, so he said proudly. I am Lord Yamcha, the bandit who rules this desert. I opened this mountain, and I carried this tree. If you want to live from now on, you can save money to buy roads. Hearing this, Bulma immediately showed contempt on his face, thinking that he is so handsome, so he shouldn't be a bad person. But I didn't expect that you just opened your mouth to ask for money. With such a big and beautiful girl in front of you, you only think about money. You are still human. On the contrary, Son Goku on the side rested his hands behind his head, very calm. At this time, Yamcha couldn't even beat the original Son Goku with a combat power of 10. Now after a year of hard training, he has already raised his combat effectiveness to 15 points. Isn't it easy to deal with a Yamcha? Seeing that the girls and children in front of him didn't seem to be afraid of him at all, Yamcha became even angrier instantly. Can't you understand me, Lord Yamcha? Bulma bent down to Son Goku's ear and asked. How about it, Goku, can you beat him? Certainly. Seeing Son Goku's confident face, Bulma felt relieved. There are still many treasures in the capsule on her body, which are all useful things for finding Dragon Ball in the future. Little devil, are you looking down on me, Master Yamcha? Well, let me test your strength. Son Goku sighed, it seems that if he doesn't repair the God of Tea, he doesn't understand how high the sky is and how thick the ground is. It's a pity that this should be your only highlight time. Son Goku opened his posture, and Yamcha instantly felt a strong aura from him. And this GU breath is very calm, 
not like a child can master it at all. Ya, yeah, Master Yamcha, who were beside him had a bad feeling, as if he had encountered a hard problem today. If I had known this, I shouldn't have used the transformation technique to please Master Yamcha last night. Kuwer regretted it in his heart. In order to exercise Yamcha's fear of women, he sacrificed a lot every night. Thinking of how wild Master Yamcha was like a wolf last night, Kuwer felt a little sweet in his heart. The two have known each other for a long time, and they have followed Yamcha since Kuwer graduated from kindergarten. The two traveled north and south, and finally settled in this desert. If there is no accident, it will belong to Master Yamcha in this life. Kuwer is recalling the sweet past between the two, and on the other side, Sun Goku and Yamcha have already fought together. Yamcha couldn't help but charge forward directly, and a powerful punch hit him head on. Seeing this, Sun Goku dodged and jumped to avoid it, and then quickly turned around in midair, using the shoulder behind him to hit Yamcha straight. Iron Mountain this move hit Yamcha's chest heavily, and for a moment, Yamcha was sent flying. It is worthy of being a legendary martial skill, so terrifying. Amidst the screams, Yamcha flew tens of meters before finally falling to the ground. Shame, what a shame, Yamcha stood up angrily, and patted the dust all over his body. He was a dignified desert robber, but he was beaten by a child. How can he mess around? HMPH, brat, I admit that you have some strength, but this time, I, Master Yamcha, are going to do it for real. You'd better be mentally prepared. While speaking, Yamcha put on a posture. That's, Bulma in the distance saw that Yamcha looked like a werewolf at this time, exuding wildness all over his body. He he, Master Yamcha has shown his true skills, and this brat is about to die. Puer said gloatingly when he saw this. That is the trick that Yamcha learned in the life and death battle with wild wolves when he was young. Spike Fang Fung Fang Fist. Yamcha roared, and then the whole figure transformed into a very hungry wolf and attacked Sun Goku. Sun Goku could even hear the howling of wolves from the wind of his fists. Good boxing. Even Sun Goku has to praise, although Yamcha is very poor, he always ranks in the sixth position of Z fighters. But creativity is still possible. However, the strength gap between the two cannot be made up in this way. Sun Goku's eyes became serious instantly, and even his movement speed increased a lot. After dodging left and right, Yamcha's spike wind fist unexpectedly missed Sun Goku. This. Dot how is this possible? Kuer couldn't believe it. In the battle, Yamcha was even more shocked, his spike wind fist never missed. Who is the boy in front of him? Could it be, a legendary monster? Before the surprise is over, Sun Goku's counterattack has arrived. I saw his small body and feet exert strength suddenly, then jumped high, kicked back and kicked, hitting Yamcha's defenseless abdomen. Oops, careless. Before Yamcha could regret it, Sun Goku slapped Yamcha's handsome face again. Along with his body, two classic front teeth flew out, and the wolf teeth of Lengya Fengfengquan were interrupted. Plop. This time, Yamcha flew over a hundred meters and crashed into a huge desert rock before stopping. That's great, Goku. Bulma was very happy, and sure enough, this strange boy named Sun Goku was ridiculously strong. Yeah, Master Yamcha. Puer cried and flew forward, crying. Master Yamcha, you can't die, if you die, how can I live? Don't worry, I didn't kill him. Sun Goku said to Puer from a distance, he didn't want to kill Yamcha. In any case, he is also an excellent Z fighter in the original comics. Although he always lags behind, he is really good when facing a crisis and powerful enemy. Just for this alone, Sun Goku won't kill him, not to mention, it's impossible for him to rob Bulma with himself now. With Puer's support, Yamcha stood up with difficulty. He looked at the young man in front of him with incredible eyes. Sun Goku looked indifferent, but he didn't even open the Kaioken yet. By the way, Bulma, didn't you say how we got out of the desert? Sun Goku suddenly asked Bulma. Yeah, I can't walk on just my two legs. Sun Goku smiled and pointed to the suspended motorcycle track brought by Yamcha. Here, isn't there a motorcycle that no one wants? Quote dot 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 quote. Soon, Bulma and Sun Goku disappeared into the desert without a trace on their motorcycles. Puer looked at their backs as they went away, and said in a daze. Master Yamcha, 
Master Yamcha, we, the car is gone. How can it be repaired? You just wait for me. I, Yamcha, swear that such a big humiliation will be repaid ten times in the future. Yeah, Master Yamcha, come on, I believe in you, you can do it. Then what shall we do next, Master? Hmm, why don't you help me to the hospital first? Yamcha said while covering his leaking teeth. Master Yamcha, Bulma drove the little Goku all the way out of the desert on a motorcycle, and a small mountain village appeared in front of him. According to the Dragon Ball radar, there will be a fourth Dragon Ball here. Strange, what about the people in the village? The two looked at the quiet village ahead, which seemed to have no one, and felt very strange. Could it be because you are so ugly, Bulma, that they all hid in fear? Bulma punched son Goku hard on the head, angrily said. Nonsense, how can a beautiful lady like me scare people? Who doesn't like me? Quote dot 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 quote. Goku, what is your expression? Do you not believe it? Son Goku didn't bother to talk to her, but relying on the smell, he quickly found the house where the villagers were hiding. After knocking on the door several times without any result, Son Goku directly punched through the door. An uncle appeared in the door, and he took an axe and slashed at Son Goku, but Son Goku easily caught the sword 100% empty-handed. You. Dot you, what are you doing? Bulma looked flustered. After all, although she was strong on the lips, she would still expose herself as a weak girl when she was in danger in reality. The uncle heard Bulma's voice, and saw Son Goku in front of him as a very cute kid, so he realized that he had made a mistake. I'm sorry, I thought you were Rulong Sama. Master Rulong. Son Goku understood that this was going to the village where Rulong was located in advance. He is familiar with the plot, of course he knows what level Rulong is. It's just that Bulma also found the Dragon Ball in the hands of an old villager, but the old woman hoped that they would help get rid of the Oolong and gave them the Dragon Ball. Oolong is a big monster who lives nearby. It can transform into all kinds of scary monsters. People in the village can't do anything about it. Moreover, this Oolong is also very lecherous. He only looks for cute girls in the village. In this regard, Bulma suggested that it is better to let little Goku dress up as a girl to lure Oolong to show up. For this, Son Goku of course refuses. Just kidding, before crossing, I was also a man of seven feet. You call me a womanizer. It is impossible to pretend to be a woman in this life. Facing the rejection of Son Goku's righteous words, Bulma leaned into his ear and whispered. Oh, the weather is so hot recently, why don't you try on that hot underwear you bought recently? Quote dot 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 quote. Bulma, I thought about it. It's not good to let Oolong do evil in this village. As a young man with a sense of responsibility and justice in contemporary society, I should stand up and restore the glory of the human race. I have a duty in my life. Goku, are you sure? Don't force yourself. Don't worry, I don't force it at all, what I say is from the bottom of my heart. Really, Bulma looked Son Goku up and down and then called a little girl who was about the same age as Son Goku, and asked her to lend her clothes to little Goku. Son Goku didn't talk nonsense, he put on the clothes directly, not to mention, he changed into a very cute little girl after a little dressing up. Not bad, Goku, it would be great if you were a girl. Bulma looked at the female version of Goku in front of her, feeling very emotional, she only needs a cute little sister. Son Goku snorted coldly and said dissatisfiedly, Anyway, don't forget what happened at night. Okay, okay, I know, you get rid of this Oolong monster first. The two chatted for a while, and there was news outside the door that the Oolong monster had entered the village. Bulma quickly pushed Son Goku out of the door and hid himself. Dot dot dot. Son Goku saw that Bulma's agile hands and feet are not inferior to Yamcha's at all, those white hands are so fast, if they are used to. Then you have to take the ladle away. So cool to the sky. Boom, boom, accompanied by the violent shaking of the earth, a giant with the appearance of a hell ghost with sharp horns walked up to Son Goku. He was wearing a suit and holding a bunch of flowers in his hand. He he he, are you the cute little girl the village prepares for me? Son Goku turned his back to him and didn't answer. Oolong mistakenly thought that his frightening image had frightened him, and then transformed into a very handsome gentleman from the Eagle Country. How about it, lovely lady, can you turn around for me? 
Son Goku was about to knock him down with one move, but Bulma suddenly killed him. You, hello, my name is Bulma, I'm 16 years old. I haven't had a boyfriend yet. Bust 85. Seeing Bulma like this, Son Goku was very helpless, this is the fault of the Nympho again. It seems that Bulma will have to treat this disease properly in the future, preferably acupuncture. Severely injected her and delivered all the liquid medicine into her body. Thinking of this, Son Goku felt that it was urgent to put away the Dragon Ball, and immediately turned around without wasting time. He took off the little girl's clothes, revealing his original clothes. Oolong glanced at Goku who suddenly changed his face in front of him, he didn't understand the situation, he only guessed that this cute girl is still a tomboy. For some reason, Oolong is even more satisfied and excited. He he he, very good, you are very suitable for my taste, let's go with me. Oolong's attention was all on Son Goku, and Bulma was treated in the cold for a while. HMPH, another ignorant fool. Bulma said to Son Goku angrily. Goku, hurry up and teach him a lesson, there will be rewards tonight. Okay, you said it. Son Goku is naturally willing to do this, and he originally planned to make a quick decision. I saw Son Goku's figure flickering, Oolong didn't even have time to change other appearances, he was punched back to the original by Son Goku. Only then did the villagers realize that it turned out that the monster's Oolong was just a pig's head. The transformation technique was only used to frighten people, and his original strength was still as weak as himself. Next, led by Wulong, the villagers came to the luxurious house he built. The girls who had been taken earlier were all unharmed. Wulong didn't even touch it. It turns out that he also has the same distress as the little Goku today. This is a problem that even the transformation technique can't solve. The villagers wanted to take these girls away, but they all expressed their unwillingness to leave, threatening to marry Lord Wulong voluntarily. Just kidding, we eat, drink and play here, and all the sisters are talented, and they speak nicely, so naturally I like this place so much, why would I want to leave? Goku watched the fun, it seems that the women in this world are also very real. But this is a good thing, in the future, there is no need to be fancy, my wife Bulma will be the richest man in the world of Dragon Ball in the future. Of course, you can also talk to your future father-in-law Mr. Satan in the future. Isn't the money coming? After all, he also likes Vital quite a lot, especially when he has two ponytails, which only increases his desire to control. In order to avoid these girls, Oolong volunteered to join the team looking for Dragon Ball, but of course Goku refused with reason. Are you kidding, three people? How can that work? If you want to take advantage of Bulma, there is no door, and you will be lucky if you are not killed. In the end, Oolong had no choice but to bid farewell to the two of them reluctantly under the fist of Son Goku, who had a blue nose and swollen eyes. According to the Dragon Ball radar, the Dragon Ball's location at the next moment is a mountain range not far from the village. According to the villagers, that place is called Flame Mountain. Son Goku smiled slightly. Speaking of Flame Mountain, he thought of a lovely girl. How could a life partner be without her? There is no spring or autumn in Hoyan Mountain, and it is hot in all seasons. When Bulma and Son Goku came to the Flame Mountain, they were already dressed in cool clothes. Here Bulma also unlocks swimsuit mode. Sure enough, it's 85. You can't fool anyone with a good figure. Bulma took out the Dragon Ball radar while wiping the sweat from his brow. According to the radar display, the Dragon Ball is actually in the middle of the volcano. This, Bulma is a little desperate. Such a big volcano, even if she turns into a water spray baby, she can't extinguish it. Goku, what can you do? Bulma can only pin his hope on Son Goku. He doesn't know when it started, but whenever he encounters danger, the first thing Bulma thinks of is always Goku. It was so in the past, it is so now, and it will be so in the future. Son Goku crossed his arms and thought to himself, if he wanted to extinguish the flames of the flame mountain, he would have to borrow a plantain fan. I heard that the plantain fan was in the hands of an old man. A huge monster approached in the distance, interrupting Son Goku's thoughts. Ah, this is too big. Bulma looked at the approaching figure, and his whole body only reached the legs of this huge monster. Finally, this huge figure walked in front of the two of them. 
She raised her head to look at it, and then she realized that what appeared in front of her was a giant with a height of 5 meters. It is different from the previous oolong. The giant's body is covered with strong tendons, wearing a horn headgear, and holding a huge axe in its hand, it looks full of strength. Enlightenment. Goku. Bulma quickly hid behind Son Goku. Who are you and what are you doing here? The giant asked the two of them a question, and the huge axe glowed white under the sunlight, as if a disagreement would cut them in half. Son Goku straightened his waist very calmly, he said to the giant. I know you're Ox King, who are you scaring? Ha! Huh. The giant named Ox King bent down to look at the little one under his eyelids, and became interested. Little guy, you seem to be very brave, but how do you know my name? That's because my grandpa's name is Son Gohan, and I'm his grandson, Son Goku. Son Goku naturally did not hide it, and there is nothing to hide. After all, this tall Torin will be his father-in-law in the future. I heard that Ox King is also a big landowner like Sun Gohan, and the entire hill here belongs to him. There are countless gold and silver treasures in his cattle castle. It's just a pity that in the original comics, it was burned to the ground by the flame mountain. Thinking of it, Sun Goku couldn't help feeling sorry, it seemed that he was too late, the fire in front of him, nothing could be burned. This is why Sun Goku had to farm for a long time. Soft rice is delicious, but unfortunately, you can't eat beef burger, and Bulma is also married to Vegeta. When Ox King heard Son Goku mention Son Gohan's name, Ox King's eyes lit up instantly, and then he looked carefully and found that he was carrying a stick behind his back. Could it be? Son Goku nodded, then pulled out the stick, and performed the stretching ability in public. That's right, this baby is Son Gohan's wish stick. Then it looks like this guy must be Son Gohan's grandson who didn't run away. Seeing that Ox King finally believed in him, Son Goku put away the treasure. This Rui stick will be of great use in the future, and it can directly lead to the heaven. Along the way, even if Bulma mysteriously borrowed a stick from him, Son Goku still refused at all. Looking at Son Goku in front of him, with a young and heroic appearance, Ox King couldn't help but think of the youthful years in the past. He thought of the two running in the sunset, that was the lost youth of him and son Gohan. Ox King let out a long sigh, remembering that he was also a good-looking talent back then, and he was very arrogant. Son Gohan is not bad in appearance, but he is still slightly inferior to Lao Niu. Speaking of the martial arts competition back then, I almost defeated him. It's a pity to think about it. However, even son Gohan's grandson is so old now, I don't know if the old guy is still strong. Ox King sighed, and missed his old friend. Son Goku thought about it, but still didn't tell him the news of his grandfather's death. By the way, Ox King, can you help us put out the flames of the flaming mountain? Bulma, who was on the side, came out boldly after learning that the giant had such a relationship with Son Goku. Ox King spread his hands, and said helplessly, if I have the ability, can I still let this fire burn my bullhouse? Quote dot 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 quote. What he said was very reasonable and straightforward. However, if you really want to put out this fire, why don't you go and invite me and Son Gohan's common master, Master Wushin, maybe he has a way. Could it be that what you are talking about is Master Wushin who is known as the god of martial arts? Bulma was very surprised, and did not expect to meet the apprentice of the god of martial arts here. No wonder Son Goku is so powerful. His grandfather is actually a master-student relationship with the legendary Wushin teacher. Ox King's answer was completely within Son Goku's expectation, he had no intention of relying on Ox King's power to put out the fire. Go invite Wu Tian teacher to come now. Not to mention the long distance, Son Goku doesn't even know where the Guixiang Wu is now, which is simply nonsense. But, there is no way. Dad, who are they? While several people were discussing the solution, a petite girl ran over. She looks about the same age as Son Goku. She is wearing a blue battle armor and a helmet-like thing on her head. Her lower body is only covered by a small piece of fabric. As she runs, the fabric is very fast. Violet does not move against common sense. It's outrageous. Hello, my name is Son Goku. Son Goku stretched out his hand towards the little girl generously. The little girl hugged Ox King's thigh, a little timidly, but saw that Son Goku didn't look like a bad guy, so she tentatively stretched out her hand. 
The two little hands were held together, and the little girl timidly said. My name is Chi-Chi, the daughter of Ox King. Hello, Chi-Chi. Son Goku smiled. He came to Flame Mountain this time, except for Dragon Ball, didn't he come for Chi-Chi? Seeing Chi-Chi now is even more important. You must know that she is too innocent now, and if she is not careful, she will be abducted by others. I almost fell in love with Yamcha in the comics. So he said directly. Chi-Chi, will you marry me when you grow up in the future? Faced with Son Goku's blunt words, everyone was at a loss for a while, and even Chi-Chi pinched Ox King's trousers, looking embarrassed. Ha, huh, this little Goku is really a pervert. She is still a little girl, but he actually. Bulma felt very uncomfortable at the side. Son Goku used to revolve around him, why did he suddenly want to marry him? That little girl. You wait for Son Goku to see if I will let you into my room tonight. Bulma viciously vented his dissatisfaction in his heart. She always felt that she hadn't grasped that the story of losing Son Goku had happened, but didn't she just know Son Goku? Strange, Bulma shook his head, a little confused, why did he feel a little sad all of a sudden? Then, that Son Goku, we just, met for the first time, and we're going to get married later, wouldn't it be weird? Chi Chi asked with his hands covering his flushed cheeks. Ox King on the side also laughed. Yes, Goku, if you really like Chi-Chi, of course I won't object, but you two are still young, so it's too early. Son Goku shook his head, in his heart, if Bulma is the first wife candidate, then Chi-Chi is a powerful existence to compete with no. 18. Needless to say, number 18, the attributes of not getting old and never getting tired alone are enough to make people's hearts flutter. What's more, who doesn't want to see a blonde girl sitting on it, and then staring at herself with a disdainful and rebellious look. The reason why Chi Chi can compete with number 18 is not only because she is good looking. First of all, Chi Chi was amazing when he appeared in the original 23rd Budo tournament. Even Bulma was slightly inferior back then, but the original son Goku was a martial idiot, and Chi Chi had to support a family and take care of children who could stand it. So in the end, Chi Chi's appearance is mostly like an unreasonable villain, but this is also related to her year round pressure to pay. So, in this world, Son Goku wants to give her a whole new life. Let her always maintain this pure girlish heart. Of course, I'm serious. Son Goku was very earnest towards Chi Chi. But I won't force you. You can think about it first. Now I want to solve another matter first. Another thing, could it be? Bulma had a guess in his mind. Sure enough. Seeing Son Goku slowly walking towards the flame mountain in front of him, his thin and small body seemed extremely stalwart at this moment. Goku, you, mean. Son Goku nodded without looking back. How is this possible? Goku is too messy, and he doesn't have a plantain fan, how can he put out this fire? Ox King was also confused for a while. But seeing Son Goku squatting down slowly, stretched his hands towards the void in front of him, then raise them up and down, and close them together. This posture, Ox King opened his eyes like copper bells, and he was familiar with this appearance. From Son Goku's body, he seemed to see the back of the god of martial arts and Son Gohan. The backs of the two overlapped and became Son Goku's back again. Turtle, Son Goku's voice was loud and clear without any hesitation. Sure enough, it really is that one. Ox King's face was full of disbelief, it was a stunt he had never mastered. Only Son Gohan used it by luck, it is a magical skill to use Chi to the peak. This kid, obviously only in his teens, how could he use it? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Amid Ox King's questioning, Son Goku's second voice came over. Group. As his words fell, his palms gradually began to condense blue rays of light visible to the naked eye. My god. Bulma seemed to be dumbfounded, she didn't expect that Son Goku, who was not afraid of bullets, would hide such a trick. Even Chi Chi carefully hid behind Ox King, feeling the strong wind blowing around when Son Goku gathered Chi, she understood how powerful this Son Goku was. Perhaps even stronger than his own father. Wouldn't it be nice to let him be my husband in the future? Chi Chi looked at Son Goku's back, feeling a little fluctuating in his heart. Gas. Son Goku was still gathering the chi in his body, and saw that the blue beam of light in his hand had gradually formed a bright spherical shape. The entire land at the foot of the flame mountain was replaced by this blue light. 
Now Goku is like a god in front of them. That's right, this terrifying aura is definitely the right move. Although Ox King still didn't believe it, the fact was right in front of him. He had to recognize the reality. This kid is more talented than him, not even Son Gohan. There is great power in his small body, Ox King has a hunch that maybe he will create infinite miracles in the future. Gong, Son Goku suddenly roared out one last time. Then he saw a blue wave of light shoot out from his hand, heading straight towards the flame mountain in front of him. The strong and dazzling light made it impossible for everyone on the field to open their eyes. Even Ox King had to raise his arms to block his eyes. The earth trembled and the mountain swayed in my ears, and the sound of strong fluctuations continued to roar. As this, dot the end of the world. Bulma was so startled that he hid behind a boulder. Bang bang bang. The deafening sound lasted for three full minutes before it gradually stopped. Bulma poked his head out from behind the boulder, and saw that the fiery mountain in front of him had been half-blasted by Goku's Kamehameha, and the flames were gone. This, this, Bulma was a little surprised and speechless. Amazing skills. Ox King had a complicated look in his eyes. He never expected that the boy in front of him, Son Goku, could display the unique skills of the Kamin Ryu. Son Goku turned around slowly, it could be seen from his face that he was a little tired from sending out such a strong key blast. He squeezed out a smile and said to Bulma, Bulma, the fire in the flame mountain is gone, you can go find Dragon Ball. Bulma stepped forward, touched Son Goku's body, and let out a long sigh of relief after making sure that there was nothing wrong with him. You guys are so powerful. Son Goku smiled and shrugged his shoulders, as if he just did an insignificant thing just now, that's all. HMPH, Bulma, don't underestimate me, I'm even stronger than Key Blast. Is there a harder skill? Of course, it's just that it's not the time yet. When the time is right, you'll know how powerful I am. Quote dot 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 quote. Bulma looked at Son Goku, who was also unfathomable in front of him, and a girlish shyness finally appeared on his face. Looks like Son Goku still likes himself. It's just a pity that Goku is still small now. What's the matter, Bulma, why don't you go find the Dragon Ball quickly? Son Goku quickly reminded when he saw Bulma was stunned in place with a shy expression on his face. Yes, yes, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. Bulma woke up, took out the Dragon Ball radar from the bag, and groped in the direction of the radar. Let me help you find it too, Chi Chi said softly. The two searched together on the ruins of the Flame Mountain for a while, and soon, Chi Chi discovered the Dragon Ball from a place covered by the bricks of the Bull Castle. Look, look, I found it. Chi Chi held up the Dragon Ball in his hand, with an uncontrollable joy on his face, being able to help others is always happy, especially now that the ball is what Son Goku also wants. Bulma saw the Dragon Ball, which was very dazzling under the sun, with no more and no less, exactly seven stars. It's the Naturan Shenron bead. Bulma was very happy, and when he was about to walk over, there was a strange bird's cry in the sky. Okay, Ox King looked up and saw a huge pterosaur flying down from the sky. He must have mistook the dragon ball in Chi Chi's hand for his own egg. It directly swooped down and grabbed the small and thin Chi Chi, and it took her to the sky without any effort. Help, help, Chi Chi screamed in fright in the air but Ox King couldn't fly at all, so there was nothing he could do. Instead of leaving, the pterosaur hovered twice in the sky, panting heavily from its nostrils, showing off its might. Chi-Chi's cries became louder, the pterosaur was a little impatient, and was about to stab Chi-Chi's head with its sharp claws. Son Goku took out the Rui stick, and prepared to surprise the cunning pterosaur by relying on the lengthening function of the Rui stick. Just at the critical moment, Chi-Chi, who was still crying and helpless, suddenly broke out. With two small hands, she pulled out the boomerang from the helmet and then threw it towards the pterosaur. With a flash of white light, the pterosaur's entire head was cut off in an instant. Sigh. 7. The crazy woman is really scary. The pterosaur didn't even understand why this seemingly harmless human girl was so terrifying. Aren't you scared to death just now? How about playing me together? Say yes. What about the trust between people? Oh, I'm not human. That's okay. The pterosaur died peacefully. Along with its huge body, Chi-Chi's small body fell from the sky together. Ah 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 ah. 
Chi Chi closed his eyes, not daring to look at it. This place is at least a few hundred meters from the ground. If he falls, won't he be turned into a pulp? Sun Goku also knew that the situation was critical, but such a fast falling speed, coupled with the consumption of a lot of physical strength when launching Kamehameha just now. Now, even he might not be able to catch Chi Chi safely. Sun Goku looked stern, and Ox King beside him must be unreliable. Sun Goku. Sun Goku. Chi Chi finally called Sun Goku's name. At this moment, Sun Goku remembered, he slapped his head suddenly, how could he forget such a crucial skill? I saw that Sun Goku, who was physically exhausted, was suddenly covered with a layer of red flame light. Then Ox King and Bulma felt that Sun Goku in front of them turned into a fiery red lightning. Before he had time to see what happened, Chi Chi, who had fallen from the sky, disappeared. By the time she realized it, she had landed firmly in Sun Goku's arms. Chi Chi, who was still in shock, thought she was going to die, but she didn't expect the falling ground to be so soft, waiting for her to open her eyes. The first thing I saw was the sunny and handsome boy named Sun Goku. Enlightenment, Goku. Chi Chi shed tears a little excitedly, not knowing whether it was because of fear or finally being saved. Don't worry Chi Chi, it's okay. With the fall of Sun Goku's voice, the red light wrapped around his body also disappeared. Without the blessing of the red light, he was almost unstable, but fortunately he held on forcibly. On the other side, Ox King and Bulma also rushed over and shouted from afar. Hey, are you all right, Chi Chi, Goku? Chi Chi just blushed, and when he calmed down, he suddenly felt something grabbing his chest. She looked down, and there was Sun Goku's palm. Ah 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 ah. Chi Chi screamed again. Sun Goku was also very helpless about this, he really didn't mean it this time. The situation was critical just now, and he wanted to save people and put on a cool pose, so naturally he had no control over his hands. Besides, who would be interested in Xiao He's sharp edged gadgets? Sun Goku put Chi Chi down, Chi Chi's small face was as rosy as the sunset behind him. She covered her face and whispered to Sun Goku before Ox King and Bulma arrived. You. Dot you are the first man to touch me. From now on, you must marry me. You mean you will marry me? Well, I would. Is this a blessing in disguise? Recalling that the original son Goku did something similar and made Chi Chi decide to marry him, I had no intention of doing so. When Bulma and Ox King rushed over, Chi Chi hurriedly gave Bulma the dragon ball he was holding tightly in his hand. Look, is this the dragon ball you want? Bulma saw Chi Chi's innocent and lovely appearance, she almost died just now. All of a sudden, the favor towards Chi Chi also increased a lot. Taking the dragon ball from her, Bulma expressed his thanks. Only then did Ox King come over, and he carefully looked at the dragon ball in Bulma's hand. So this is the dragon ball you guys were talking about. Why, have you seen it? Ox King nodded, patted his chest and said, Of course, if I remember correctly, my master Wu Tian teacher has a bead exactly like yours. It's just that there are not as many stars on his bead as you. It seems that there are only three stars. It's the ice Shenron bead. Bulma exclaimed in surprise, it was really hard to find, and it took no effort to get it. Now that they have the clue of Dragon Ball, the two naturally decided to set off tomorrow. At night, Chi Chi roasts the dinosaurs killed during the day and feeds them to Sun Goku. Although he had eaten a lot of delicacies in his previous life, this was the first time he ate the meat of a living dinosaur. He originally thought that the meat of such an ugly dinosaur would be old and old, but he didn't expect that under Chi Chi's craftsmanship, it would be very delicious. Great, Goku, do you really like eating? Of course, what you made is really delicious. Son Goku wiped his mouth with oily mouth. Just a short while ago, he ate most of the dinosaur by himself. Saiyan is not only very capable but also good at eating. Chi Chi was naturally very happy to see Son Goku enjoying her cooking so much, she said with a smile. Well, when I grow up in the future, I will marry you, and then I will cook delicious food for you every day. Chapter 11 After saying goodbye to Ox King and Chi Chi, the two headed south according to Ox King's guidance. I heard from Ox King that Master Roshi, known as the god of martial arts, is on a small island in the sea. Fortunately, I took a yacht capsule with me this time. While driving, Bulma praised and boasted about himself. 
Son Goku just leaned against the window, feeling the majesty blowing on his face. Women, it is necessary to know how to blow, but not like this. The journey was uneventful, and Bulma was speeding on the highway. Because it is very remote, there is almost no one along the way, Bulma stepped on the gas pedal to the bottom. Just as they passed a bend in a hurry, a large turtle suddenly appeared on the road out of thin air. Bulma was so scared that he slammed on the brakes, and the car turned around more than ten times before stopping. Fortunately, there was no danger. Shouldn't you hit that big turtle? Bulma asked Son Goku in a low voice, at this time she was rarely guilty. Son Goku shook his head, opened the car door and walked down, saw that the car stopped right in front of the big turtle, almost hitting it. You big tortoise, why don't you treat me badly, what are you doing on the road? Believe it or not, I boiled you. When Bulma came down, he also saw that the tortoise was not injured, and immediately became angry. Although she drove fast, is there nothing wrong with this turtle? If it wasn't for her amazing driving skills, her life might have depended on it today. Seeing the menacing Bulma, the big turtle raised its head unhurriedly, then opened its small mung bean-like eyes. Honestly, I'm not a turtle, but a big turtle. Honestly, I'm not good at eating. Ha, huh, Bulma was so frightened that he forgot to manage his facial expressions for a moment. Did he see the hell in broad daylight? How can this turtle talk? Seeing Bulma's surprised look, the big turtle still said calmly. Honestly, do you have any salt water? I haven't had water in two days. Quote dot 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 quote. Seeing its familiar look, Bulma lost his temper for a moment. Fortunately, she will bring some condiments in capsules with her, and salt is naturally indispensable. Bulma pours water into a bucket, then sprinkles salt in, and a simple brine is made. The big turtle was obviously really thirsty, and it immediately jumped up with two little paws jubilantly, and began to drink happily with the bucket in its arms. Bulma on the side supported his head with one hand, and said to Son Goku. Do you think this thing is dangerous? How about keeping it as a pet? Son Goku didn't answer, but he was very clear in his heart. This turtle is an essential key to unlock the master Roshi, copy. Honestly speaking, I have a master. The big turtle answered Bulma very politely after drinking, and even burped. HMPH, why do you come here even if you have a master? To be honest, I went ashore to look for Matsutake, but got lost accidentally. I searched for a year, but I still haven't found the sea. Quote dot 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 quote. Bulma was a little speechless, and he was a glutton again. Bulma raised his finger and pointed in the direction opposite to the turtle's walking route. But isn't the sea in that direction? Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. The big turtle was silent, staring at Bulma with its small sesame eyes, revealing a kind of clear stupidity. It stayed in place motionless, lost in thought. It doesn't make sense, it has long been rated as the smartest one in the turtle family by the big turtle family. How could it be going the wrong way? The big turtle's cerebellum became hot, and it shut down immediately. Son Goku saw that it was a little funny, so he said. In this way, we also happen to be going to the beach, why don't we take you with us, otherwise, with your speed, I'm afraid you may not be able to get there in two and a half years. The small eyes of the big turtle Mung Do regained their spirits in an instant, showing a grateful expression. Really, can you really send me back? To be honest, I really appreciate you. Bulma said in distaste, but Goku, with such a big body, we can't fit it in our car. Besides, we're going to find Master Roshi. Master Roshi, why is this name so familiar? The big turtle thought for a while with its small brain, and suddenly remembered, isn't that its own master? A 300-year-old, hooligan. To be honest, the master Roshi you are looking for is my master. Really, really. Bulma changed the tone in an instant, courting the big turtle. Don't worry, big turtle, helping others. No, helping turtles is the foundation of happiness. I, Bulma, are the most generous. Seeing the 180-degree change in Bulma's attitude, the big turtle was also surprised by the greatness of human nature. Although I am a turtle, you are really not human. But Bulma didn't care about this, there was nothing better than this news, she turned her head to look at Son Goku and said maliciously. Then it's such a happy decision, and you'll be carrying it to the beach with Goku in a while. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. 
Son Goku looked depressed and puzzled, why should I recite it? Seeing this, Bulma pretended to be distressed while touching her pretty face. Hey, I heard yesterday that I'm going to the beach soon, so I bought a very hot swimsuit in the town. It's the kind that is very refreshing and has very little fabric. I don't know if I will have a chance to use it this time. Quote dot 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 quote. Bulma, if you say that, you're delusional. Look at my skeleton, let alone carry it from here to the sea, I won't even talk about two big turtles. Son Goku just feels full of energy now. The big turtle on the side was stunned. These two, really are a perfect match. Goku carried the big turtle on his body without hesitation, and by virtue of his extraordinary physical fitness, he trot all the way to the beach. On the way, he also took care of a Shangda who blocked the road and wanted to eat a big turtle. In this regard, Son Goku can only show him the power of the iron fist of socialism. Just kidding, I only tasted the taste of seafood secretly. What are you, a bear? Are you right, Bulma? Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Bulma looked puzzled. The blue sea stretches as far as the eye can see, feeling the oncoming breeze and setting sun. Son Goku felt indescribably comfortable all over. This is the true taste of the sea. In comparison, Bulma's is tempting though. Son Goku put the big turtle on his back into the sea, and the big turtle came alive immediately. Even the movement is a little more carefree. Honestly, thank you for sending me back. You're welcome, this is what we should do. Bulma replied from the side. To be honest, you wait for me on the shore for a while, I am a turtle who knows how to reciprocate. After all, the big turtle didn't stay any longer, but turned around and left. The agile limbs were completely different from the sloth-like appearance before. Looking at the tortoise shadow that had already run away, Bulma was a little worried. Do you think it won't come back? Son Goku looked indifferent, and folded his hands behind his head. Don't worry, this big turtle is different from you, it's still very trustworthy. I see. Bulma nodded. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Bulma noticed something was wrong, she looked at Son Goku and said angrily. Did you speak ill of me just now? Son Goku spread his hands and shrugged helplessly, I don't have it. Besides, Bulma, you look so good at the sun, why don't you put on your new swimsuit and let's go into the water? Then Bulma remembered, it seemed that he promised Goku this matter, but. She said embarrassedly, actually, I forgot to buy it. Quote dot 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 quote. Son Goku held back the disappointment in his heart. In fact, he had already had a premonition in his heart, anyway, Bulma did not lie to him once or twice. That's okay, anyway, there is no one else here, so it's okay if you don't wear it. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Bulma, why do you look at me like this? Are you doubting my character? It's fine for you to guard against perverts, can't you trust me as a child? Can I still plot your body? Bulma didn't speak just gave Son Goku a blank look, the meaning is self-evident. Are you a normal kid? You don't know who I should guard against, do you? Seeing Bulma's indifferent appearance, Son Goku could only swim in the sea by himself. The sun is surprisingly good, the surface of the sea is very warm, and the water is cold and cold. Son Goku has naturally encountered many pools in the deep mountains, and he no longer cares about swimming. Bulma saw Son Goku swimming very happily on the shore, and was a little envious for a while. If I knew it at that time, I really made up my mind to buy that one. Although that swimsuit is really bold, but, it's okay if I just show it to Goku. Dot dot dot. Bulma could only play with the sand on the beach by himself, and after a while, a Goku's face was piled out of the sand. Ha, huh, I just piled up randomly, how did I become like Goku? Bulma felt unbelievable. She looked at Son Goku who was still enjoying himself in the water, and secretly wondered if she really loved that stinky brat. After an hour, the familiar figure finally appeared on the sea again. It was the big turtle that came back again, and on its back stood a fancy-looking old man who looked very avant-garde. Flowered clothes and big pants, a pair of sunglasses on his bare head, and a wooden cane in his hand. Son Goku recognized him at a glance. He was very familiar with this person. On this sea, who else could be called the old man with white beard? That's right, this person is the old man Baihu. Bah, what a shame, it's Master Roshi, the god of martial arts. 
When he was tens of meters away from the shore, he jumped up, then spread his hands, and landed firmly on the sandy beach. Is it you two who saved my big turtle? Master Roshi asked, looking at Son Goku and Bulma in front of him. Bulma immediately saw the ice Shenron beads hanging from Master Roshi's neck. It seemed that Ox King really did not lie. This Master Roshi really had a dragon ball in his hand. That's right, that's right, we saved it. Bulma quickly replied. She had already figured out that she would ask for the dragon ball of Master Roshi as a thank you gift for sending the big turtle back. Master Roshi looked back at the belated turtle and asked if it was like this. The big turtle looked at Son Goku in a quiet tone and said, It's not her, it's this little boy who carried me all the way back. You. Dot you. Bulma was a little annoyed. You smelly turtle, who gave you the salt water just now? Who asked Goku to carry you? The big turtle thought about it calmly, but didn't say anything. It seemed that he didn't quite admit it. Not bad, you are so simple-minded at such a young age, you are as good a boy as my master Roshi. Well, I'll give you a gift in return. After finishing speaking, Master Roshi raised the crutch in his hand high, and then shouted loudly towards the sky. Come out, Phoenix, quote dot 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 quote. After a while, there was nothing above the sky, and the scene was very embarrassing. Master Roshi touched his chin, very puzzled, strange, where is my phoenix? Master Roshi, hasn't the phoenix died of food poisoning? The big turtle on the side narrowed its small eyes again. Master Roshi remembered, he personally buried the phoenix. I named this bird the phoenix in order to make it live forever. Why is it still dead? What's wrong with it? Hey, forget it, don't want to, just get another one. Ahem, since this is the case, then I will give you another gift. Master Roshi shouted to the sky after finishing speaking. Come out, somersault cloud. There was no accident this time, and soon, a yellow cloud flew down from a distance and landed in front of Master Roshi. Seeing Bulma's surprised look, Master Roshi proudly introduced. This is no ordinary cloud, it's called Somersault Cloud. Somersault Cloud, it's a kind of cloud that can carry people in flight. Only people with pure hearts can ride on it. And the next somersault is worth 108,000. Cough cough, in short, it flies very quickly. Is this cloud really so magical? Bulma didn't quite believe it. She still believes in science more now. I'm the gift giver, can I still give you a fake cloud? Master Roshi was a little annoyed when he saw Bulma's puzzled look. It seems that if she doesn't show her skills, this little girl doesn't know how high the sky is. Look, that's what somersault clouds are for. After all, Master Roshi took a deep breath, ho, tui. After spitting out two mouthfuls of thick phlegm, he jumped up abruptly, unbiased, and fell towards the somersault cloud. Hearing a bang, Master Roshi directly pierced through the somersault cloud, and fell down, even the crutch in his hand was thrown far away. Ha ha ha, both Bulma and Son Goku laughed out loud. Although Master Roshi took off very handsomely, but the way he fell was really embarrassing. Master Roshi slowly got up, he rubbed his shoulders, with a look of disbelief. What's the matter with the swelling? Why can't a pure and upright person like me sit on it? Is this a beaver? Master Roshi expressed a grieve. Honestly speaking, could it be Master Roshi that you always read some bad publications and that's why you did this? The big turtle beside him suddenly became smarter, and instantly thought of the key to the problem. You. Dot you fart. Master Roshi said angrily, and then he looked righteous and awe-inspiring. How can I, a god of martial arts, look at that kind of thing, you turtle, don't insult my innocence out of thin air. Honestly, I never lie. Quote dot 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 quote. Ahem. Master Roshi coughed tactically, and then said to Son Goku and Bulma. Well, I may not be in shape today, one of you can try to sit on this somersault cloud. Son Goku and Bulma looked at each other and shook their heads. They knew very well in their hearts that they couldn't even sit on this cloud. There are very few people in this world who are as pure and flawless as Son Goku in the original manga, even if he is transmigrated into Son Goku's body, but he also understands. The number 13 should be there. There is no need to make a fool of yourself in public like Master Roshi. Seeing that the two people in front of them are very smart, they don't want to humiliate themselves at all. On the contrary, Master Roshi was in a bit of a dilemma. Although he used to have many treasures, 
thanks to this smart big turtle, he got lost every few years, and all his treasures were given away. Now there are no gifts that can be handed out for a while. What to do, wait online, very urgent. Bulma saw the difficulty of Master Roshi, so he took the initiative to say. How about you give me that bead hanging around your neck? This bead, Master Roshi looked at his neck following Bulma's gaze. There was indeed a three-star bead there, which he picked up at the bottom of the sea a hundred years ago. He didn't know what it was for, but he kept wearing it just because it looked good. It seems that this little girl knows this bead. Master Roshi thought to himself. Maybe this bead is really a big treasure. After thinking about it, Master Roshi looked Bulma up and down again. Not only did he look good-looking, but he also had a girlish innocence. It's not impossible for you to want my bead, if this beautiful girl can let me bury my head in, he he he. Bulma's face darkened instantly when she heard it. If it was because of the Dragon Ball before, maybe she would really agree. After all, she just met little Goku, and she can accept even touch her ass. It's just that, unconsciously, she's used to the fact that only son Goku can take advantage of her, Master Roshi. There are no doors. I don't care if you are a martial arts god or not. Son Goku was also a little surprised. He didn't expect Bulma to reject Master Roshi's request, which was quite different from the original manga. Could it be? Dot she really. Son Goku stepped forward slowly and stood in front of Bulma. He straightened his back and showed no timidity in facing Master Roshi. How about this, Senior Master Roshi, I will compete with you, if you lose, how about giving me the beads? Ha, huh. Master Roshi looked at the little Goku in front of him, and for some reason seemed to see the shadow of Sun Gohan from him. Strange, why do I feel that you look so familiar? Sun Goku smiled slightly, because I am Sun Gohan's grandson. Master Roshi suddenly realized that he would meet his disciple's grandson after so many years. Sun Gohan back then was also amazingly talented, no wonder the strength of this Sun Goku is somewhat unfathomable. Master Roshi became interested, I haven't fought with anyone for hundreds of years, that's okay, let me see if he taught you well during lunch. After all, Master Roshi looked at Sun Goku in front of him very calmly. He stretched out a hand and waved, indicating that Sun Goku could attack first. In this regard, Sun Goku showed a confident smile, dare to underestimate me. Without any explanation, he sprinted forward with all his strength, Sun Goku raised his legs, kicked in the air, and kicked towards Master Roshi's chest. Master Roshi never expected that this kid would have such amazing explosive power. It was too late to take precautions for a moment, and he could only barely protect his stomach with his hands, but this time, he was also kicked by Sun Goku and flew away. Master Roshi controlled his body shape and turned over a dozen somersaults in the sky before he lost the stamina of that terrifying force. It's just that the moment just now made his arms a little numb. Master Roshi had just landed on the ground, and before he had time to get into position, he saw Sun Goku in front of him attacking again. For this, Master Roshi hurriedly called a stop. Wait, is it appropriate for you to attack me like this, a 300-year-old man? Quote dot 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 quote. Let me take off this turtle shell first. Sun Goku knew that one of the ways of practicing the Kamezin Ryu lineage is to wear a weight-bearing turtle shell, and he didn't stop Master Roshi from taking off the turtle shell. After all, he also wants to fight with all his strength, to try his current strength. Master Roshi removed the turtle shell from his back, only to see that the heavy turtle shell was inserted deeply into the sand, it must be heavy. It seems that this Master Roshi is not just a perverted old man on the surface, he seems to have some strength. I wonder if Goku is his opponent. Bulma is already a little worried, after all, his current opponent is a man who is known as the god of martial arts. Master Roshi and Son Goku soon fought together again, and the two sides fought back and forth, but it was obvious that Master Roshi, who had taken off his turtle shell, was faster than Son Goku. Every punch and kick of Son Goku was easily dodged by Master Roshi, and in the face of Master Roshi's attack, he could only rely on Saiyan's powerful body to resist it. But no matter how tight the defense is, there will be omissions in the face of constant attacks, especially when facing Master Roshi, a person with extremely rich combat experience. Soon, Master Roshi seized the opening and kicked Son Goku's chin from bottom to top. Before Son Goku could react, 
he got up quickly and sent Son Goku flying with a heavy elbow. Enlightenment, Goku. This was the first time Bulma saw Son Goku being beaten into the air. Boom, Son Goku's unstoppable figure, like a meteor, smashed into the boulder, and the boulder shattered to the ground, burying Son Goku inside. Young man, if you only have this strength, I can only say that your path of cultivation is still very long. Master Roshi saw that the winner was already divided, and he didn't intend to continue the fight. Just as he was about to pick up the turtle shell, he suddenly felt a very powerful wave of breath coming from behind him. That power is terrifying. This is. Son Goku's firm voice came from the rubble, and he said word by word. 10. Double. Boundary. King. Fist. As Son Goku's voice fell, his body sprang out from the pile of rubble. I saw a fiery arrogance surrounding him, which was exactly the same as the previous appearance in the Flame Mountain. It's just much more intense than the red light at that time. Now, we start the real contest. Son Goku said coldly to Master Roshi. Seeing Son Goku, who looked like a completely different person in front of him, with a breath like flames, even Master Roshi was surprised. This gas is indeed very powerful. Master Roshi didn't go to get the turtle shell, but repositioned his posture, his expression was no longer careless, and his face was serious. Then let me see your true strength. Son Goku didn't hesitate, and stepped forward directly. With a sound of, whoosh, the whole person disappeared, and Bulma couldn't see where Son Goku was at all. He seemed to have disappeared. Master Roshi also looked around nervously, even he could barely see Son Goku's movements now. It's here, Master Roshi punched out, but he missed at all, he thought in his heart that something happened, it was not good. Sure enough, before Master Roshi could withdraw his fist, the figure of Son Goku had already come to his front, and he punched out, hitting Master Roshi's abdomen. Feel Son Goku's mighty power, even Master Roshi can't stand it. But Son Goku's attack isn't over yet. Yeah, yeah. The continuous boxing hit Master Roshi one after another. Scissors, paper, rock. Son Goku turned his fist into a palm, and struck out with a powerful palm. Master Roshi felt the crushing force, and this force forcefully pulled him backwards and flew him out. Flying in midair, Master Roshi had no way to control his body this time. Seeing the fiery figure of Son Goku following up again, it seems that he does not intend to let the current Master Roshi go, and will continue to launch a fierce offensive. Seeing that Son Goku had already leapt to the sky above him, he clasped his palms together and was about to punch down. Drink. Master Roshi was in midair, he gritted his teeth and shouted angrily, and then saw a wave of anger erupting from his body. The originally thin body became tall and swollen in the blink of an eye, and the whole body was full of muscles, which looked terrifying. At the same time, Son Goku's attack fell, and Master Roshi stretched out a muscular arm to resist, but even so, he was shot down from midair by Son Goku. After landing, Master Roshi did not hesitate supported the ground with one hand, and retreated quickly, keeping the distance between the whole person and Son Goku. It's amazing, not only the speed has become ten times faster, but the strength has also been increased ten times. What kind of martial art is this? Master Roshi showed surprise on his face, he didn't expect that there are powerful martial arts that he has never seen before in this world. This is called Kaioken, which can increase your own strength several times. Son Goku explained generously. I see. Master Roshi nodded. After the two sides paused for a while, they launched a new round of attacks. Bulma in the distance could only see two lights and shadows, one red and one white, chasing and fighting each other. The two were fighting and shouting endlessly, but she couldn't see clearly what was going on. Son Goku, how could he fight so intensely with a centuries-old martial arts god? What kind of monster have I been with along the way? Bulma was very shocked, although along the way, she saw Son Goku's seemingly infinite strength time and time again. Every time Son Goku showed great strength, she refreshed her cognition. Can human beings be so powerful? Bulma expressed complete incomprehension. Even the big turtle opened its mouth wide. It has been with Master Roshi for hundreds of years, and no one has ever been able to force Master Roshi to such a degree. The muscular Master Roshi meant that he didn't hold back at all, and was also going all out. But even that doesn't seem to be able to defeat Son Goku. 
Son Goku and Master Roshi once again fought in the air, and the two kicked each other, but because of Son Goku's small size, it was obvious that Master Roshi kicked harder. His small figure flew upside down, then gritted his teeth, and spun several times in the air with all his strength, before he stabilized his figure and stood on the spot again. Yes, it seems that this Kaioken can not only increase your speed and strength, but also improve your defense. After all, Master Roshi is the god of martial arts. Facing the powerful son Goku, he can analyze it calmly. However, he was indeed suspected of taking advantage of the blow just now. If son Goku's body was not too small, the power of his kick must not be inferior to his own. In that case, then I have no choice but to. Master Roshi squatted down, and put his palms together on his waist. This, could it be? Bulma saw Master Roshi's posture and was naturally very familiar with it. Sure enough, Son Goku also put on the same posture. Unexpectedly, you even learned Kamehameha. Son Goku didn't speak, but endured the pain in his body, exerting the strength in his body to the extreme. Turtle Pie Chi Gong Facing the Qigong attacking with red light, Master Roshi did not hesitate at all. Turtle Pai Qi Gong, a Qi blast glowing with white light shot out from his hand, and the two rays of light, one red and one white, collided against each other. Drink. For a moment, Son Goku and Master Roshi didn't give in to each other, and both of them were sending the Qi in Kamehameha continuously. This is the advantage of Kamehameha, although the power may not be as powerful as other key blasts, but the continuous output can continuously increase the power of the launch. The two of them can be said to be going all out at this time, and the red and white light waves in front of them are also getting thicker and thicker. The air waves destroyed all the big trees on the coast, and set off huge waves. Bulma couldn't even open her eyes at this time. Fortunately, she had experience in the flaming mountains. This time she found a large rock in advance as a cover. She crouched behind a rock and kept cheering for Son Goku in her heart. Drink. Both Son Goku and Master Roshi understand that when it comes to bow, the most important thing is who roars louder. Generally speaking, although Son Goku occupies favorable terrain, the right side. And I stood on the left side that must lose. But he was growing stronger. The shouting voice was like a thunderbolt from the blue. Seeing that the light wave, which was originally tied, moved slowly towards Son Goku. Seeing this, Son Goku showed a strange sense of excitement. Is this, Saiyan's belligerent genes? The more powerful masters you encounter, the more excited you are when you are in a desperate situation. Ha! Son Goku took advantage of the excitement that surged out of his body, and directly punched Master Roshi's key blast back at a speed visible to the naked eye. How can this be? Master Roshi was stunned. In terms of aura, I am obviously taller, but this kid is so tenacious. Master Roshi is already sweating profusely at this time, he is still old after all, and he has indeed been a little too leisurely and comfortable for a hundred years, so that he would be forced to this point by a child. Son Goku is getting stronger and stronger as he fights, but his physical strength is exhausted as he fights. Seeing this, Master Roshi roared angrily, and directly exploded the key blast that was slowly pushing toward him. Boom, accompanied by the deafening sound, both Son Goku and Master Roshi were blown away by the strong aftermath. However, Master Roshi was obviously closer to the center of the key blast explosion, so this time it was he who took more damage. Fortunately, Master Roshi was very experienced and wrapped his body with air one second before the explosion. Therefore, although he suffered a strong impact, he did not suffer serious substantial damage. It's just that the chi in the body is also consumed a lot, and even the muscle shape can't be maintained. And Son Goku facing him was not much better. At this time, the whole person also gritted his teeth tremblingly and stood up straight, the red flame aura on his body had disappeared. Although the ten times Kaioken given by the system has no side effects, it still needs Son Goku's own chi and physical support. This is the first time since he came out of Bowsy Mountain that he tried his best and felt that there was almost no energy left in his body. Son Goku smiled bitterly, now is the time to see who has more perseverance, he will never lose. Looking at Son Goku who was still fighting fiercely in front of him, Master Roshi hurriedly waved. Don't fight, don't fight, can't I admit defeat? If the fight continues, you will break my old bones to pieces. I will give this bead to you according to the agreement. 
E.H. The god of martial arts surrendered. Bulma had just come out from behind the rock where he was hiding, when he heard the news that Master Roshi had surrendered. With a look of disbelief on her face, Master Roshi walked up to Bulma generously, and then handed the dragon ball to Bulma. He turned to look at Son Goku, and said earnestly, Gohan taught a good grandson, you kid, don't go on the wrong path in the future. Looking at his appearance as a martial arts master, it would be difficult for Bulma to connect him with the lecherous old man who made unreasonable demands just now. Master Roshi walked to the turtle shell, put his back on his back again, then stretched his waist, and walked towards the big turtle on the shore. Let's go, it's time to go home. The big turtle carried Master Roshi on its back and left as quickly as when they came. Everything that happened just now was like a dream. On the sea, the figures of a man and a turtle gradually faded away, becoming more and more blurred and invisible. Honestly, Master Roshi, you should still have strength just now. HMPH, stop rambling, no matter what I say, I'm a majestic god of martial arts, do I really want to fight a child? Master Roshi was a little impatient, and then seemed to recall some beautiful voice, urging the sea turtle to say. Hurry up. Today's aerobics program will be broadcast soon, and those young and beautiful girls are still waiting for me. Honestly, you didn't stop because you were rushing back to watch this kind of program, did you? HMPH, shut up. Quote dot 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 quote. Seeing one person and one turtle leaving, Bulma realized that Son Goku didn't seem to say a word since just now. She hurried to Son Goku, but saw that Son Goku fell asleep standing up. This guy. Bulma burst into laughter, just now she thought Son Goku was going to die, and she was relieved when she heard his snoring when she got close. Bulma picked up Son Goku, looked at him sleeping peacefully in his arms, not only whispered. He, doesn't look like a fool, but he's quite handsome and cute. Bulma remembered the back of Son Goku standing in front of him without hesitation, challenging the god of martial arts just now. Although he is only a child, Bulma can also feel his heart for her. From the beach to the front of the car, the road is not far away. At some point, Bulma had a smile on her face. She gently put Son Goku in the passenger seat, and then saw that there was no one around, so she secretly kissed him, his forehead. Son, John, you fool, if only you grew up sooner. Quote dot 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 quote. It was already night when Son Goku woke up. Son Goku opened his sleepy eyes, rubbed them, and saw that he was lying on an extremely soft big bed. This, is Bulma's bed. It was usually the first time I had the opportunity to sleep on the bed, but after I discovered the secret of the, beard, at the corner of my mouth, I was driven to sleep on the floor. Unexpectedly, this time I was able to sleep in bed again. Son Goku could smell the scent left by Bulma on the sheets and quilts, the faint scent of a girl. But what about Bulma? Son Goku sat up and found that all the clothes on his body had been replaced with new ones. Doesn't that mean that Bulma has seen himself all while he's asleep? And with this clean appearance, he clearly took a bath for himself. Wouldn't she reward herself severely while I was unconscious? Son Goku opened his pants while thinking, looked inside, and sighed sadly. Three points of loss, three points of regret, three points of anger, and one point of mourning. It seems impossible that Bulma is innocent. Son Goku walked out of the room and saw Bulma sleeping on the sofa with a sweet face. I don't know what she dreamed about in her dream, but she just clamped her legs tightly under the quilt. Son Goku took a lot of effort to pull the quilt out and put it on her. He naturally knew that Bulma must have had a hard time after he passed out, so he didn't have the heart to disturb him. Just because Saiyan is easy to get hungry, his stomach began to growl in protest, Son Goku was going to find some food in the refrigerator first. As soon as he opened the refrigerator, he saw that there was already food in it, all processed by Bulma. There is also a note beside the food, telling him what to eat. Goku, don't be picky eaters. Pay attention to nutrition, so that you can grow taller faster. For some reason, Son Goku was moved. Naturally, he would not waste Bulma's kindness and eat all these foods. Son Goku patted his belly, he ate plumply, and the strength in his body returned. And, it seems to be stronger than before the contest with Master Roshi. Could it be that Saiyan's buff physique played a role? Without any explanation, he pushed open the door and walked outside. 
The night is fine tonight. Under the moonlight, Sun Goku flexes his fists freely. The surrounding trees and rocks have suffered. Seeing a 5 meter high boulder explode with a loud bang under Sun Goku's punch, Bulma in the house suddenly woke up. She looked out the window and murmured. What, it's still night, I went out for something, Goku, let's continue, just now he almost. Bulma fell asleep again blushing with anticipation. Outside, Sun Goku sat cross-legged at the door. The warm-up just now made him clearly feel that his current strength is indeed much stronger than before. As expected of a fighting nation, Sun Goku smiled slightly, then closed his eyes, and fell into meditation, which is also a kind of practice in the world of Dragon Ball. In this way, not only can you better understand every ounce of strength in your body, but it can also not disturb Bulma's sleep. Dot dot dot. It was dawn, Bulma pushed open the door, saw Sun Goku sitting at the door, yawned and said. Are you awake, Goku? How are you? Sun Goku opened his eyes, stood up and looked at Bulma, he was full of energy and looked extremely healthy. Seeing that he was safe and sound, Bulma breathed a sigh of relief, and recalled the crazy dreams he had last night, and couldn't help but blushed. Sun Goku wondered about this, he didn't understand. Bulma, are you blushing a bubble teapot? HMPH, it's none of your business. I'm going to wash my face first. Bulma said and ran back to the house quickly, then went into the bathroom and started to wash up. I don't know if the weather is particularly good today, but she is very happy anyway. But women's dressing time is always exaggerated. Son Goku waited outside the door for another hour before Bulma finished dressing and came out. Seeing Son Goku staring at him all the time, Bulma thought to himself very proudly. How about it, be conquered by my beauty? Son Goku looked and looked carefully, then folded his arms and commented lightly. Bulma, your foundation is too thick. Quote dot 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 quote. You stinky straight man, go to hell. Bulma was so angry that he even trembled when he threw the car capsule. Along the way, she puffed her cheeks and didn't say a word. Seeing her like this, Son Goku also knew that he was a bit too much, so he took the initiative to talk. Bulma, I was wrong, so let me tell you a joke, if you laugh, forgive me, okay. HMPH, give up your heart, I won't laugh at anything you say. Yeah, certainly, my grandpa son Gohan went traveling when he was young and stayed in a hotel. He was very hungry because he was traveling all the way, so he asked the waiter if there was any fast food. As a result, he discovered a new continent. Perhaps this is also the reason for his untimely death. Quote dot 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 quote. Ha ha ha. Bulma burst out laughing, then thought of something, quickly closed his mouth alertly, and quickly explained. I, I don't understand your joke, I'm still a student, your joke is not funny at all. Seeing Bulma's reluctance, Son Goku had no choice but to post it up, acting like a rogue. Bulma, don't be angry. Hey, hey, it's up to you, don't mess around. On the road, a car was driving uncontrollably and crookedly. If anyone saw it, they would think that something shameful was going on in the car. You fool, it's all your fault. Bulma walked out of the capsule while talking, and she had already put on a new set of clothes. Bunny Girl Bulma Limited Edition it turned out that because of the interference of Son Goku on the road, Bulma successfully had a car accident. Fortunately, at the last moment, Son Goku carried Bulma out, so that the two people were fine, but the car was sacrificed. Together with Bulma's well-made makeup and clothes, she had no choice but to take out this spare set of clothes. It's just, why did Bulma prepare a bunny girl outfit? This thing Son Goku remembers, it was a kind of fun in the previous world. Could it be that Bulma was mentally prepared? After all, she is the only heroine. I know so much. You brat, you're still laughing there, it's you who caused me to have no clothes to wear. This bunny girl's clothes are indeed a bit revealing, making her already alluring figure even more attractive. The two walked all the way, but luckily there was a town not far ahead. Bulma was going to see if he could fix the car, and the two walked into the city and came to the repair place. But the residents in charge of repairing the car were scared when they saw Bulma's dress. Am I that scary? Now Bulma also began to doubt herself, since everyone who walked into the city looked at her strangely, she might just avoid herself. She looked at Goku angrily. Son Goku was already a little guilty because of the previous incident, 
so he immediately stepped forward and grabbed the car repair owner who was hiding. It's too rude to show such a beautiful girl. Facing Son Goku's words, the car repair boss closed his eyes tightly and said, HMPH, you guys from the Rabbit Legion can kill you if you want, our soldiers can be killed without humiliation. Okay, you have a lot of backbone. Son Goku raised his fist as if to attack. The owner of the car repair suddenly knelt down on the ground. Heroic man, spare your life. Quote dot 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 quote. After a detailed discussion, Son Goku and Bulma realized that they had come to the territory of the Rabbit Legion. If Son Goku remembers correctly, the Rabbit Leader here has the superpower to turn people into carrots, which is somewhat similar to the ability of puppets to turn into candies. Faced with this supernatural ability, Son Goku can't be careless. After all, he knew well that Bulma wasn't too fond of carrots, she might prefer rooibos. After the explanation was clear, the owner of the car repair boss also wiped the sweat from his forehead. You are not from the Rabbit Legion, why didn't you tell me earlier? I am exhausted. The money to repair the car will be doubled. Quote dot 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 quote. Knowing that Son Goku and Bulma are not bad guys, the car repair boss's spine hardened. Soon, Son Goku made him understand that his fist seemed to be harder. Young master, if you said earlier that your martial arts are so high, it would save you trouble. The car repair owner knelt on the ground and said, covering his bruised and swollen face. Son Goku ignored him, but walked out with Bulma, and the two of them could buy some love, household items by the way. Not long after I was shopping in the market, I saw a few big guys with rabbit ears bullying the fruit sellers. Master, if I don't give you the money, it's not considered forced buying and selling. The big guy with rabbit ears is very arrogant, but the vendor also knows the identity of the other party and he can't afford to offend him, so what else can he do? I can only say silently in my heart, forget it, let me raise my son as a father and let the dogs eat it. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Something seems wrong. Son Goku is not used to these rabbits, he stepped forward and punched these big guys with rabbit ears to death. Seeing this, the residents on the side ran away one after another, shouting while running. Hurry up and go, those who offend the rabbit legion here will only have a dead end. Bulma blinked, looking puzzled. Is the rabbit legion powerful? Goku, will you protect me? Son Goku patted his small chest confidently, don't worry, Bulma, I will follow behind your ass and protect you vigorously. Bulma nodded, she always felt that something was weird, but she didn't want to understand it. While the two were talking, a car drove over, and what got out of the car was a rabbit-faced monster with the word rabbit written on his clothes, who was the boss of the rabbit army. I saw that he was biting a carrot in his hand, and the juice overflowed his whole body. Little girl, I heard that you are bullying people from our legion here. The rabbit boss saw Bulma dressed as a bunny girl at a glance, and regarded her as a rabbit of the same kind. The rabbit boss liked it very much. Boss, boss. The few people who were knocked down by Son Goku just gave a last struggling cry and passed out completely. Bah, useless things. The rabbit boss didn't want to avenge these trash. Since Bulma and the others just walked into this town, the rabbit boss has already received the news. For Bulma, it is naturally difficult to accept her as a wife, and a little brother like Son Goku finally turns into a carrot, which is the most tender and juicy. Goku, what do you think of the spicy rabbit head? Bulma didn't like the rabbit boss at all. Just kidding, I didn't grow in my own aesthetics at all. The only thing that this rabbit head can arouse is her appetite. As for other desires, it is impossible at all. Bulma, can you still make spicy rabbit heads? Son Goku was pleasantly surprised. In his impression, he had never seen Bulma in the kitchen. Bulma knocked on Son Goku's head angrily, HMPH, who do you think I am? Of course I can cook. Don't say it's spicy rabbit head, I'm good at steaming and boiling. Really, of course, seeing that the two of them were discussing how to make themselves into high quality ingredients as if no one was around, how could boss rabbit bear it? The rabbit boss attacked and stepped forward. He is half rabbit and half human, so his agility can be said to be full. He leapt forward, as fast as the wind, and attacked Son Goku's head, but Son Goku didn't even look at him, just turned his head slightly to avoid him, and then kicked in a roundabout way, the rabbit boss I spit out the radish supper last night. Forget it, 
forget it, this rabbit head is too dirty, so I don't want to eat it. Bulma lost his appetite instantly when he saw the vomit of the boss rabbit. Son Goku said indifferently, that's fine, I'll send him to a place where you can't see him. Hey, little rabbit, come, shake hands. Son Goku squatted down towards boss rabbit, who was lying on the ground and clutching his stomach in pain. You treat me like a dog, don't you? The rabbit boss was very angry, but his strength was in front of him, so he had to obey. But how dare you take the initiative to shake my hand? The ability of boss rabbit to turn people into carrots can only be triggered by touch, he smiled slyly. Hey, stinky brat, this is your initiative to seek death. Boss rabbit stretched out his hand unpreparedly, and for a moment, he saw the same sly smile on the corner of Son Goku's mouth. It's terrible, he had a bad feeling. You don't talk about wood. But before he had time to react, the moment he stretched out his hand, he was tightly tied up by the rope that Son Goku picked up at random. Little bunny, I want to go to heaven. Rui stick, stretch. In an instant, the wishful stick continued to extend, Son Goku grabbed the rope with one hand and the wishful stick with the other, and went straight to the moon. After a long time, Son Goku came back empty-handed, Bulma said doubtfully. You don't really take him to the moon, do you? Son Goku whispered mysteriously towards Bulma. Of course it's false, but I don't think you would want to know where he went. Quote dot 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 quote. Dealing with the rabbit boss Son Goku will naturally not be the same as the original Saiyan. It is impossible to make waves in this life, and you must resolutely resist this bad habit. He didn't give Boss Rabbit a chance at all, and cleared him of his complete humanitarianism. Soon, Bulma's car was also repaired, and the two were ready to bid farewell to the town. Villagers in the small town got rid of the infestation of the rabbit group, and they no longer have to worry about it. They expressed their sincere gratitude to Bulma and Son Goku, and spontaneously formed a long dragon to see them off. It's so good to be helpful, Goku. Bulma swelled, even his chest stood out. Son Goku glanced twice and sighed, you don't seem to be doing anything. HMPH, if it wasn't for my beauty, how could that boss rabbit come out so quickly? Quote dot 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 quote. Bulma, what you said makes sense. It's rare for Bulma to hear Goku's compliments, and her 85 bust is even taller. Now the two have successfully collected five, leaving only two dragon balls. Coincidentally, these two dragon balls are actually in the same place. It seems that there are people in this world other than us who know the existence of Dragon Ball. Faced with Bulma's emotions, Son Goku naturally wouldn't tell her, and one of the trio who knew the secret of Dragon Ball was his future wife. After a few days, Son Goku and Bulma are only half a day away from the location of the remaining Dragon Balls, but the sky has darkened, and they decided to rest for the night before starting tomorrow. At night, Son Goku was driven outside to sleep as usual, looking at Bulma lying comfortably on the bed inside. Son Goku can only swear in his heart that he will have good fruit from you in the future. However, the two of them were very tired from the rush for the past few days, so they fell asleep very quickly. I don't know how long, in the silent night, there was a slight human voice suddenly, followed by the sound of the door being opened secretly, Son Goku got up quickly, and nimbly lay on the roof. The Chowder King said that those dragon balls are in this room. Whispered a guy with a dog's head but actually a fox's head. Behind him was a girl with long black hair. Their steps were light and almost silent. Well, keep your voice down, don't wake up the people in the house. These two people are. Son Goku recognized him and was overjoyed. Isn't this a coincidence? Just as she was thinking about it, she took the initiative to deliver it to her door. Xiao Wu. Just now, because of the long and ugly clothes on Xiao Wu's body, he almost didn't recognize him, but after hearing the crisp voice, Son Goku understood. In Dragon Ball Super, future Xiao Wu looks very good in normal clothes. One must know that Xiao Wu was considered old at that time, at least 10 years older than Date at that time. Unlike the little dance in front of Son Goku now, not only is it authentic, but its actual age is only about 2 or 3 years older than Bulma at this time. In other words, Bulma is now 16 years old, while Xiao Wu is only 18 or 19. It's time for Ren Jun to pick Jia. Jia 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 Jia. Hunting time. Son Goku was about to make a move when he suddenly realized that there seemed to be someone missing. 
The other important member of the trio doesn't seem to be here, so the Dragon Ball must still be with that guy. In other words, the two people in front of them just came to steal their Dragon Ball. Thinking of this, Son Goku calmed down. He thought for a while, and he had already thought of countermeasures, so it's better to plan now. Under Son Goku's surveillance, the fox-headed Axiu and Xiao Wu groped carefully all the way to Bulma's room and found the Dragon Ball in her backpack. The two couldn't stop laughing. He he he, I didn't expect to succeed so easily. Ah Shu looked very proud. Let's go quickly, I always feel that someone is staring at us. Xiao Wu felt uncomfortable, but she couldn't find the location of that person. Okay, okay, then let's retreat quickly, and I don't know how the king of mixed rice will reward us. As soon as he mentioned the king of chowder, Ah Shu's eyes were full of admiration. The king of chowder, the most perfect king in the world. Axiu directly took the backpack on the table. At this time, Bulma was still dreaming, and didn't notice it at all. The next morning, early in the morning, Bulma's screams could be heard throughout the house. Ah, Son Goku walked into the room calmly while digging his ears. What's wrong, dragon? The dragon balls are all gone. Bulma pointed to the place on the table beside the bed where the dragon ball should have been, but it was empty now, nothing. So you mean this? Son Goku calmly took out a dragon ball from his body, with four bright stars engraved on it. Hey, why is the dragon ball in your hand? Bulma snatched the dragon ball, and the joy of regaining it made her rub the dragon ball on her face. Son Goku told Bulma what happened last night. Seeing this, Bulma said angrily. Since you know there are thieves in the house, why don't you catch them and let them steal the dragon ball? I'm here to make them relax their vigilance. Didn't I say that they already have six dragon balls in their hands now? While explaining, Son Goku took out the dragon ball radar and pressed it. Sure enough, the radar showed that six dragon balls had been collected not far from here. I hid this Nuova Shenron bead in advance, and the dragon ball is useless if you don't collect all seven of them. Bulma blinked and finally understood what Son Goku meant. Unexpectedly, Son Goku has such a brain, and I really underestimated him. The two decided to set off in a short while, and went directly to the so-called trio of Chowder Kings, and took back all the Dragon Balls before they could react. Bulma patted his chest and let out a long sigh of relief, it seems that his wish still has a chance to come true. She was feeling relieved looking at Son Goku in front of her, and suddenly realized something was wrong. Wait, you, dot you, where did you get the Dragon Ball from? Son Goku shared the two, and he was wearing a thin blue top at this time. It is logically impossible for him to put the Dragon Ball on his chest. In that case, Bulma looked at the shorts under Son Goku. Ah, another scream echoed in the capsule room, and Bulma quickly ran out of bed and headed towards the wash basin. No wonder she thought the smell on the Dragon Ball was weird. Bulma, do you have to drive so fast? Son Goku sat in the car, feeling like the whole car was flying instead of running. HMPH, sit down Goku, I'm going to sprint. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. This time it was Son Goku's turn to look confused, he always felt that Bulma's words were a bit wolfish. Although he can't accept Bulma's initiative to sprint, it's just, quite suddenly. However, because Bulma drove so fast, the original half-day journey now arrived at the destination in less than three hours. What came into view was a towering castle, and I heard that the king of chowder rice is inside. This castle was built by him himself, and it claims to be indestructible. The dense traps inside are like a purgatory on earth. At this time, inside the castle, a man with blue skin, short stature, wearing a small hat, and the word, fried rice, written on the front of his clothes was looking smug. There were dragon balls in front of his table, and he tiptoed and stepped on the stool to reach the dragon balls on the table. But this does not affect his current happy mood in the slightest. This seemingly diminutive man is a fearsome evil genius, the king of chowder. Gia 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 Gia. The world that belongs to me the Chowder Rice King, is finally coming. Congratulations to King Chowder for getting the Dragon Ball. Behind him, Fox Axiu and Xiao Wu stood respectfully. You two have done a good job, and I will definitely not treat you badly after I make a vow to rule the world. The Chowder Rice King's face was excited at this time, and even his voice was a little trembling. 
he had been waiting for this day for a long time. Come out, Shenren, Jia 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 Jia. Axiu and Xiao Wu are also full of expectations. They are also expected to see the legendary Shenren for the first time. In addition, it is an honor for the two of them to be able to witness the King of Chowder Rice unifying the world today. But, after a long time, the dragon ball in front of him was still motionless, without any movement. Ha, huh, the Chowder Rice King had a strange look on his face. There was nothing wrong with the formula for calling Shenren. In order not to have any accidents, he memorized it for three days and three nights, and the pronunciation just now was even more correct, so there must be no problem. Seeing this, the fox-headed Axiu suggested, rubbing his small hand. Could it be that your posture was wrong when you chanted the spell? The king of mixed rice nodded, and this is the only possibility. So he stood on the small bench and raised his two little hands high, then said with reverent eyes. Come out, Shenren, come out, quote dot 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 quote. Dragon Ball remained unresponsive. What's the matter with the swelling? The mixed rice king was puzzled. Xiao Wu on the side seemed to have discovered the key to the problem, she said from the side. That, the king of mixed rice, it seems that there are only six dragon balls. Ha, huh, six. The mixed rice king looked incredible, how could it be possible, he just counted it several times. In order to make sure everything was safe, he counted it himself again. One, two, three, five, six, seven. That's right, it's seven. That, your majesty, you seem to be counting the stars on the dragon ball. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. One two three four five six. The chowder rice king exclaimed, one piece is really missing. Quote dot 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 quote. He scolded Axiu and Xiao Wu, how do you two do things? Why is there a dragon ball missing? I think it must be that they separated the dragon ball at that time, and it was a momentary carelessness of the subordinates. They are too cunning and despicable. King Chowder, please give us another chance. Seeing the sincerity of the two, Chow Pot Rice didn't say anything, after all, the most urgent thing now is to get the Dragon Ball first. HMPH, let's forget it this time. If it weren't for the cleverness of my king of mixed rice, I could easily see through their tricks. You two are still kept in the dark. Gia Gia Gia, my lord is indeed a genius. The Chowder King was smiling evilly, but Xiao Wu discovered something strange through the monitoring outside the castle. Well, King Chowder, they seem to be here. Ha, huh, who's here? The two with the dragon ball. Jia Jia Jia, they are throwing themselves into a trap. My Chowder King's castle is unbreakable, it can be called the number one fortress in the universe. In a while, you two will drive my newly invented mech to capture those two guys. Yes, King Chowder. Ah Shu was very excited to be able to control the mecha for a while. After all, which man can refuse an active Gundam? That is a powerful weapon that can be called the strongest shield castle and has the title of the strongest spear. Isn't it easy to deal with a woman and a kid? Outside the castle, Bulma looked up at the huge castle in front of him and couldn't hide his surprise. This castle is probably worth a lot of money. Faced with Bulma's words, Son Goku was speechless, no matter how rich you are, can it compare to you, the richest man in Dragon Ball? Bulma, I think you should wait for me at the door, I'm afraid there may be danger inside. Bulma didn't want to go in at first, just kidding, she is flesh and blood after all, but she is different from Son Goku. Seeing that the two people at the door actually moved separately, the King of Mixed Rice laughed even more happily. And the Dragon Ball was on the neck of that seemingly harmless teenager. It stands to reason that my strongest shield and strongest spear can't even be taken down by a child, right? At this time, Axiu and Xiao Wu were also in position, and they were driving the latest mech developed by King Chowder, ambushing in the castle. According to their design, when Sun Goku walks in front of them, the tunnel mechanism will be activated. At that time, his escape route will be cut off, and poisonous needles and poisonous gas will be ejected from the tunnel at the same time. At this time, he will definitely panic. You and Xiao Wu can take the opportunity to suddenly rush out from left to right, catch him off guard, and take him down in one fell swoop. Xiao Wu, what do you think of my plan? Nothing goes wrong. After receiving Xiao Wu's affirmation, Ashu became more confident. It's just, although the plan is good, Sun Goku doesn't seem to play his cards according to common sense at all. After he entered the castle, 
He didn't follow the normal route at all, but he slammed his fists on everything that stood in front of him, and directly forcibly made a way for himself. Ashu, who was sitting in the Mecca, opened his mouth wide and couldn't close it at all. Is this still a human? Humanoid Gundam, right, soon, Son Goku came in front of Axiu, he looked at the three-meter-high Mecca in front of him, smiled politely. That, Axiu wanted to say something else. Son Goku didn't talk nonsense with him, and just kicked Ashiu and his mecha out of the castle with one kick. Xiao Wu at the side was stunned, this mech weighs more than 20 tons. This guy is just a kid who looks to be in his early teens. Is this a beaver? Xiao Wu was about to run away, but Son Goku had already appeared in front of her and blocked her way. Facing Son Goku, she knew that she had no chance of winning, he was definitely a monster. Lord Chowder's mecha and castle looked like tofu in front of him. She closed her eyes tightly, ready to be treated the same as Axiu, but she was not attacked by Son Goku for a long time. Xiao Wu opened her eyes and saw Son Goku standing on the mech looking at herself inside, then smiled politely. Xiao Wu, you don't want the king of mixed rice to die, do you? Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Facing Son Goku's words that are so flavorful in an island country drama at such a young age, Xiao Wu couldn't react for a long time. Son Goku was not in a hurry either, just patiently waiting for Xiao Wu to speak. You, what do you want? Xiao Wu raised her head and stared at Son Goku. It's very simple, I just want you to marry me in the future. Hearing what Son Goku said, even Xiao Wu blushed. This is the first time someone has said such words to her. You must know that although Xiao Wu is already 18 years old, she has been with the Chowder Rice King since she was a child. Neither King Chowder nor Ashuk the Fox regarded her as a girl. Even she herself gradually forgot what a girl should look like. So she always wears a thick green military uniform, and she hardly dresses up, plus she has always been doing bad things with the Chowder King. Confession, something that doesn't exist. So facing Son Goku, Although he was still very young at first glance, it was indeed the first time for Xiao Wu to be in such a situation. Her heart couldn't help beating uncontrollably. Sun Goku blushed when he saw Xiao Wu in the mecha cabin, he was so hot that he passed out, obviously he had lost his ability to fight. He shook his head lightly, he knew that subduing Xiao Wu was already half the battle. As for the remaining half, it all depends on Shenron. Son Goku didn't stay any longer, and continued towards the location of the mixed rice in the castle. The king of mixed rice in the monitoring room saw that Ashu and Xiao Wu had lost one after another, and was a little angry for a while. How can I repair it? What is the origin of this brat? HMPH, but even if it's a child, I, the king of mixed rice, will never show mercy. Seeing that Son Goku was about to attack where he was, and when there was only one wall left from the Chowder King, he pressed a red button in front of him. Immediately, a wall made of steel was erected around Son Goku, trapping him inside. Son Goku swung his fist and hit the wall. The wall was not destroyed as before, but remained intact. Gia 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 Gia, do you really think that I am a good for nothing, the king of mixed rice? This is a steel wall made of special materials by the king. You can't open it at all. There is a device for sound transmission on the wall, and Mixed Rice sitting in the monitoring room has a smug look on his face. Stinky brat, I advise you to be honest and hand over the Dragon Ball quickly, otherwise you will only die. Although the room you are in now is surrounded by special steel walls, the ceiling is made of the same tough glass. Even cannons can't penetrate it. Son Goku looked up, indeed, there was a transparent glass above his head, and he could see that the place where the mixed rice was located was just above. Gia 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 Gia, it's very hot here during the day, you should be able to feel the temperature in the room slowly rising now, right? If you don't hand over the dragon ball, then soon, more sunlight will come through the special glass, magnify the temperature and shoot it directly into the room, and it will directly roast you to dryness. This is really a terrible thing. You kids should understand by now. Whoever dares to stop me, King Chowder Rice, from ruling the world will die. In the face of the chatter of Rosato, Son Goku is very calm and calm. After several attempts, he finally confirmed that, as Chow Pot Rice said, the walls here are at least 300 centimeters thick, and it would be very difficult to penetrate with the current strength alone. 
The little Goku in the manga was also trapped in this place, and the Dragon Ball was also taken away in the end. But, Son Goku is so much more than that these days. This room is of course indestructible for Goku, who has only 10 combat power. However, the corner of Son Goku's mouth smiled slightly, and his body was already glowing red like fire. What? What's going on? The Chowder King looked at Son Goku on the monitor, and suddenly seemed to be on fire. Then there was no time to react, and the surveillance camera exploded. The Chowder King looked at the pitch black screen in front of him, and muttered to himself in puzzlement. Ha, huh, could it be that this kid, Axiu, bought a cheap camera again? Why did it break at a critical moment? The Chowder King crazily manipulated various instruments in front of him, but he still couldn't restart the monitoring screen. Suddenly, a huge sound came from under the feet, and the whole castle made a deafening sound. Bulma outside the castle is lying leisurely on a deck chair, sunbathing with a comic book in his hand, feeling very comfortable. Hearing the noise in the castle, he frowned slightly, and complained, can't Goku be quieter? Quote dot 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 quote. The huge noise didn't stop, and the whole castle began to shake. The Chowder King thought there was an earthquake. Before he had time to escape and dodge, the thick floor above the ground was already penetrated by a fiery figure. Standing in front of him is Son Goku who was still trapped in the house before. You. Dot how did you come out? Chop Rice was puzzled by Son Goku who suddenly appeared in front of him. Logically speaking, he couldn't destroy that room. At this moment, the mixed rice is already panicked, he pointed at Son Goku and said. I, I order you out. Hey. Son Goku smiled slightly, and mercilessly punched King Chowder in the face, turning him into a meteor and flying him away. Only then did Son Goku take a calm breath, and the red light covering the body surface disappeared. He walked slowly to the table, where six dragon balls were placed. Without further hesitation, Son Goku took the Nuova Shenron beads from his neck and put them together with these dragon balls. Come out, Shenron. I saw that the originally clear sky became cloudy in an instant, and the sky was so dark and frightening, as if it was the end of the world. Ha, huh, what's going on? It's night now. Bulma took off his sunglasses, very puzzled. Boom, thunder and lightning sounded from the sky, accompanied by continuous lightning and thunder, a huge creature appeared out of thin air. It keeps circling its huge body, and the air waves carried on its body set off huge waves, which looks very frightening. Son Goku was also surprised when he looked at the creature in front of him, it was the first time he saw it. This, is Shenron. Speak, say what you want. Seeing this, Son Goku did not hesitate, and shouted to Shenron in the sky. Please grow my body to be about 20 years old. It's so easy. After that, Shenron sang a Namek slang in a low voice, and then a light flashed in his eyes. It leaned over to Son Goku and said. Okay your wish has come true, then, goodbye. After finishing speaking, Shenron's huge body shone with dazzling light, and then quickly exploded to pieces. It turned into seven dragon balls and scattered in all directions again. The dark clouds above the sky also receded, and the sun revealed its true face again. Bulma looked up at what had just happened in the sky, still feeling incredible. Then, is, Shenron, just when she was shocked, a familiar yet unfamiliar voice came from behind her with a smile. Bulma, now, I can marry you. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.